The following is intended only for mature audiences. Viewer discretion advised. One, two, three, rain, talk to me. We're gonna hit a beat and talk about my Eve. Everybody, oh, you know what I say? God. I'm gonna do a beat. Make it stop, rain. rain. It's Why? time to Why? stop. Why did you rock, paper, scissors, right? We don't want Eve to be look as simple as shut the fuck up, Seto! Buds of like memes and these small gangers are like, we're the elite of the elite. Do not fuck with us, we will kill you. We are the best players ever. It's like, dude, I did your shit. I did it better than you did. You know what this conversation is like? When I say not enough to a super dying though, and people tell me, oh, look, there's a super dying though. So it's like, when what I'm are you even talking issue, about? We were talking about fucking but, balance, not supers yeah. dying in Delft. Look, look, Why does everything look, look, look. with you have to be about supers fucking dying Shut in Delft? Shut up! Shut up! Christ! It's, it's an analogy, moron. It's an analogy. <laughs> okay. You guys stop arguing. You act like fucking married couple. Jesus Christ. No, don't stop arguing. <laughs> well, it is trash talk too. I was like... And now, you know how many times I've seen that in show, dude? No less than 16. Because this is literally like the 18th episode of Trash Okay, Trash and Trash we're Trash on. Yeah, no less than five black times. we're uh, on. Okay, you guys are fucking screaming when I'm trying to do the intro here. You know how this show works. I do the no, intro. No, I don't. And then we trash talk. You were rambling all about some I wasn't some rambling bullshit. about anything, Persistence. Yes, you That's were. That's why your portrait's not on the stream. Because the you're fuck? irrelevant. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> I got saw him. my Nestor kill from last week. No Hopefully one cares Nestor. about your Nestor kill mills. I gotta turn you down. You're loud as fuck. You just drown yeah, out everything yeah, in the entire world. Randa, you're kind of loud too. Uh, this is why I'm we do sound loud. checks before the show starts. But unfortunately tonight we didn't have time to do, sh do sound checks before the show started. Because the show's an hour late. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, eThoughts, and Twitch chads. Ooh. Welcome Disgusting. to Trash Talk Tuesday. Trash Talk Tuesday is the only talk show that has never lost or kept a Keepstar based on notoriety of knowing mittens or not. So that is a thing. It's a very good thing. Tonight we've got some pretty hot topics where we should have Rain joining us shortly, who has not shown up yet. Let me DM her real quick. A lot. We really should get a probably block dude here. Everybody can see Jay's around. I mean, okay. we tried to. We we tried to get a probably block here. Probably block didn't want to kind of show up, which is a thing. I mean, it is what it is, right? I'm it's not, not a huge no, deal. This is not a show that should be on, in my opinion. It's actually a pretty sad thing that happened in my regard. Yeah, and and I I don't really want to shit talk probably, even though probably did implant little monkeys into my into my fleet and scram me and then just spin it forever which that's fine it's totally fine i don't care anyway our topics tonight are some pretty spicy topics the of course we are going to talk about pravi closing their doors um as well as another corporation that we most of us know um some of us love its origin is also going to be closing up um of course, we're going to talk a little bit about the new Malia Memorial, just a little bit of touch on that so you can actually see it in the background of the stream here. This is live at Malia, the new uh, Capsuleer Memorial that's been put there, so pretty cool background for us today. Uh, and then we're also going to be talking about World War B2. Uh, we've got Mandalorian here, who is unfortunately probably gonna be reenacting that scene where it's got the guy standing behind the girl on a couch and oh, um, uh, that meme's already been made wait what the fuck has it okay well that's perfect why are you yeah. so awkward who me yeah i'm not awkward i'm just saying just... because it's gonna be all of us ganging up on in it just oh, like oh that yeah, in real that. life it's, it's gonna be a gang bang now i understand <laughs> the fuck do you mean why are you so awkward? Hey, anyway, from PO. if you need a new home and dread bomb, I got you. Anyway, we are going to talk about uh, the war, Simp. World War B fountain basically cracking open like an Easter egg, and uh, you know what that means for the rest of the war. So first up, now that Rain is here, um, I want to let Rain talk a little bit about the Molia Memorial. Um, I have it in the background on the stream. Maybe we get to see the light show up and blast off into space. Maybe we don't. Let's uh, 
we'll wait and see. Rain, take it away. All right. So the Malia Memorial was originally a sort of like player run, um, I would say site, I think is the correct answer. So some folks in, in Eve, I don't remember who exactly, but they had ended up finding a corpse and then they found in Molia there was a cathedral. So they're like, oh, you know, like, let's build a graveyard, you know. Like, I think that's one of the craziest things about Eve is, like, player corpses. And it kind of creates some hilarious, like, news and, and whatnot when people talk about collecting corpses. So that's what these players did, was they collected, like, in-game corpses and went and, like, quote-unquote buried them at this, like, cathedral. I don't know if it was originally, like, a just a site sort of, like, beacon thing or if it was an actual, like, station. But from there, it actually turned slowly into, like, they couldn't put it on the cathedral or in space itself. So they built a POS stick, so a player-owned station. So it has, like, the bubble in the force field. And then what ended up happening from there is it went from in-game corpses to, like, you know, dead characters or whatever, right? Like, we all have corpses and shit. It evolved into real-life players. So we, I think most folks kind of heard stories of players who have died or family or friends or something along those lines. And to kind of give back and to recognize and remember those individuals, people actually would go to Molia and they would drop a can and then you can change the can's name. So it's called like cargo container. And then you can right click and change it and say, here lies so-and-so or in remembrance of so-and-so and kind of like a message to memorialize that. So CCP saw this, um, thought it was like, I would say kind of like a pretty interesting and like kind of a um, like I would say a, like kind of heartfelt sort of player sort of initiative. So what CCP did was they made it so the cans around the POS don't disappear. So normally over time or after downtime, the cans all get wiped from the server. But in Molia around the POS, they don't go away. But everyone knows that CCP is actually looking to delete POS code within EVE. Well, in order to delete the POS code, right, the mo the monument we would be, or the memorial POS stick would be one of those things that would get deleted as well. So what CCP said was, hey, let's put our art team to use. Let's build this sort of like, like in space, you can click on it yourself and like warp to the monument. And so they built their own kind of modeled after real life. I think they're called bas basaltic something sort of rocks, which are found in Iceland. And they made that model for the uh, for the monument. They also included with it a sino because many players over time as players pass will light sinos in systems in remembrance of folks. And so they included the sino and then they included the pod with some figures at the top. I'm really trying hard not to look at it because I, I went there today. I got super emotional about it. So for those who want to check it out, go to Molia. It's about 12 jumps from Jita. And you can go there, you can see, like, I know I added cargo containers to overview, and you can scroll through and see how many are out there. Like, the alliances that dropped them, the people that dropped them. It's actually um, kind of sombering, I would say. Like, definitely don't do it when you are busy or, like, multitasking, because, like, I know I got super choked up about it. Maybe it's because, I don't know, I'm, like, an emotional woman or some stupid shit, but it's actually a pretty amazing thing. <laughs> don't laugh at me, Miranda! <laughs> <laughs> women are so emotional we can't handle these things but, but it's one of those things right like everyone always like you know and especially like during this war and like this show even like we're all just trash talking each other but at the end of the day we're all humans and this is something eve players have done to recognize fellow humans who have since died and gone gone on to yeah. you know the afterlife or whatever and it's, it's freaking, um i think it's, it's insane yeah i think it's like actually amazing that ccp um kind of went with this as well like they gave back to the community something that was there just to like help the community instead of just saying oh you know collateral damage or whatever the heck you know when they make changes or update things this was one of the things that they truly considered not only when they changed sinos a year ago but also with the upcoming eventual whatever it may be post code deletion that they want to intend to do that's I kind of talked really fast. I don't know if you guys had questions or, or anything. That was my recollection of all the stuff related to Molia, though. Yeah, I think you I think you got it pretty well hit on the head there. Anybody who wants to ask questions about it can feel free to. Um, it's, a, it's a very interesting place to be. Um, so now that we've got everybody here, I'll make sure that everybody knows that this show is kind of different and that we allow pretty much anybody to come on. Um, you can see that because we've got 12 people in our Discord, Discord channel, and anybody who wants to register an opinion on the topic is welcome to do so, as long as it's all kept to in-game stuff, 
and nothing breaks the terms of service of either Discord or Twitch. So speaking of breaking services, let's um let's talk a little bit about Pravi Block. What's uh what's going on down there? Where are my guys talking about that? Well, they didn't want to change the management, so they pulled they pulled the plug instead. F okay. Pravi. <laughs> okay, it's just a Pravi's broken up before though. Was a combination. This is different. This is way different. Usually in the past, they all agreed to go to Losec Karam and sit there while whoever was invading them at the time, PL or NC, went through, did their thing, got bored, and then left. So maybe about a six-month cycle, and then they come back and take probably. Now you have groups who actually want to live in probably like TRC, Eros, and a bunch of other guys who have been at this war with probably Block for about two-plus years now, and they realize, okay, this isn't something that can you know we can expect to go away they're not going to go away because this is the space like stop it so a bunch of arguments within leadership directions on where to take pravi um a nip was put in place because we sort of saw the thing the writing on the wall because we didn't want probably to disband because they were good content for us and for them and they still managed to implode and all their alliances are going different ways now. So you killed Pravi Block, basically, yep. is what sure. you're saying. Sure, but Pretty it's much. more, it's not really us. I mean, we gave them a nip to get, we gave them two months of a nip to sort themselves out and to restructure and analyze the situation after the guys in Care Factor got fed up with Pravi and dropped all their saw because they didn't like their leadership anymore. And so we're like, okay, we'll give you a two month nip. We'll focus on the goon war completely. And then we'll come back and continue our thing. And then literally not even a week and a half into the nip, they announced they're evacuating everything out of Pravi. Before, we, we haven't even done anything. We just gave them a nip. Mm, that's not necessarily true, though. Because, I mean, like, we, we did Care Factor got flipped. Care Factor flipped pretty Care fucking Factor hard. didn't flip. They got pissed off at Pravi. Dropped their saw without playing us or Pravi. That's semantics, though. That's semantics, that, that though. That is not semantics. You're saying nothing. No. We didn't do it. We, we did jack is, is wrong. It was definitely done by a Care Factor member. A Wrecking Crew had nothing to do with it. Yeah, and then we saw that it dropped, and we were we just saw that it dropped before they realized it. We rushed, and they rushed as soon as they realized. We just managed to grab more systems than they did. So is it possible that this Care Factor member may have also been in another alliance? CJ Allen is in a Drag Me channel. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yeah. Hold on. Let's get our discussion in before the whole part screaming. We need CJ That's... Allen. He's the yeah. same boy. He's one of the Pravi FC guys that you have been on the show before. Hey, CJ. What's going on, guys? So Was CJ in Pravi? I am. He's an FC for Pravi block. Oh, Severance. He does not like okay. me. All right. So what? So since you were an FC for Pravi Black, I'm, I'm assuming that you are um, what we'd call leadership-ish. So leadership-ish. You have... I got a pretty uh, good idea what's going on yeah okay I mean, to, be fair, for me, by the way. to be fair to be fair i was i was an fc and probably block just saying so yeah, before, was a long time ago before i ask you i'll just i'll just say it out in the open i hate it when groups that really are not terrible groups disband um gotg was a different story happy they disbanded but Tell tell us kind of what happened with we, Pravi. Like, was there some internal stuff? They're not really we disbanding. Just, they're just so going we didn't ways. disband. We just we're just done. We're yeah, tired. So that's I mean that's we've been doing this for a long time. I mean I've been down here for seven years, and we've been evicted twice in those seven years. This will be number three if you even want to call it an eviction because these guys aren't pushing us out. We're just leaving because we're tired of. The cancer. I guess the past couple months have just been it's gotten to the point where we don't have the will to fight anymore. We're just tired. We don't have the numbers and fleet that we used to. Uh, the soft stuff. It's, it's getting cancer. It's it's now it's faxes with brick battleships. It's not fun because we can't contest it at all because we don't use caps. So what are you gonna do now? Yeah, period. Uh, Severance is gonna go somewhere else. I we haven't really decided yet to be honest. Oh we're, come on, CJ! We're looking yeah, we at, all, we're looking at all, we all know what all everybody, everybody knows. <laughs> let's let's try expect. Hey, hey, don't jump the gun! Don't jump the gun! Just because I like test doesn't mean that we're. Tran even posted about this on Reddit. 
Two mm. hold on. Spectre is going to drag me channel. Yeah, it's, but the, it's, the not a, it's not a sure so. thing yet. It's not a sure thing yet. Okay, everybody just got drug in. Channel limits don't mean anything, apparently, so I'll just take them off. Yeah, there we go. All right, channel limits are off. Um, For sake. Here we you, go. <laughs> you had two options. You and CVA merge into one corp or one alliance and join Legacy or Test. Those are the two yeah, options that happening. every that Duran even put up. I that's literally, literally what Duran and what your oh leader posted like, CJ. Well, we're not going to do that because that's ludicrous. You're There's joining no way. Like There's Remember no way. way. So, oh, so yeah. what if we... What I if, will bet whatever. you money we'll, right for, now, you for, for, for argument's sake, oh we'll, join, we'll say we're joining Legacy there. So it's we did argument. not want to merge with CVA, and that was the problem. Okay, that's understandable. For obvious yeah. reasons. I mean, that's you've understandable. Got, yeah. Equi hasn't been it really into the game in Do the you think Equi is a good coalition leader? Yes or no? For, for a long time, he really was. When do you he think he dropped off? He, he kept probably the last couple months, two, three months now. Up until that, he stopped playing, really. To be honest, he didn't log in a lot. He just didn't seem interested in the game. And neither did I. I stopped playing full time, really, because it's just the operations, they've just become, they're not fun. That's what it comes down to. We're here to have fun. We're not here to sweat and be greasy like you guys we're here to have fun and if we're not Whoa, fun, we're so you call me else. greasy and sweaty oh, yeah. so basically you, the, no, toasting sweaty. toasting toasting nodes with faxes is pretty greasy it's boring Isn't right it? that, it's boring it's no fun no because they will drop a hundred dreads on those three dreads that i drop on the dread to kill the fax dude drop that's how, that, that's so how about this how about you and that's snuff the guys that you guys allied with right next to fucking everyone in the game who hates snuff you guys how about you drop together on us you know what did you ever think about doing that i don't trust snuff i don't trust it, snuff you trust do snuff. you let oh, oh no you see what we had in great you fucking you wouldn't even you no, let listen you let shut up you let shut up listen here listen here little man not good. Okay, you can, you can talk shit to me until you learn to fight without faxes, first of all. Okay, CJ, we can hear okay. you. Why are you holding on? Now, 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 I wouldn't even fight, fight with him. In the I game, wouldn't even dude. fight him with your fleet yeah, without I, us being on grid. Why would I, yeah, I fight I don't blame stuff. you. Why would I fight you? You need to pull the microphone. Who's your weenie? Who why not? Why would you bat phone snuff? You drop that because low. Because you bat phone fucking DT. Who, the, who the fuck is DT? Dead terrorists. <laughs> oh my what? god. They had like, what eight, they, they had like a about? combined 80 man fleet in there with a surf No, fleet. they fucking did. Yes, they did. I got the D scans, dude. Fleet. He's got <laughs> D scans. <laughs> He's got the D scans. Anyway, All right, anyway, listen, so, listen, hey, listen, 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 listen. Wait. Red with them, with red line meeting right now. Holy shit. Time out. Time out. Time out. Time out. Listen. Did you pull God. the microphone away from your face? A dead bit. terrorist Stop. abuses the Stop. shit out of Stop us. talking. Chads, dude. Stop talking. Those, two seconds. The the two seconds. The group Shut the, the fuck Shut up, up for two seconds. Please. Listen. You guys, Discord quality is shit. We have like 25 people in this channel. If you can't not talk over each other, I'm gonna fucking go insane. Okay? Let everybody hear what you're saying. Can All right. Be, I'm fine. Want, For anyone who wants to know, probably block chat, align themselves with. He's an emotional female, and I don't think me and Rain are ever like that. I just. I just yeah, want to say. We just, we just got really. Okay? For anyone who wants to know, Snuff Here has 100 well. dreads parked in Providence in range of catch. FYI. FYI. I'll, have you know, FYI. I'll have you know that Snuff is a friend of Providence. We have no interest in hurting Providence. We are here to We're save you. Dude, yeah. that's how I, Gert, Gert, I have a lot of respect for you and a lot of respect for Snuff. Well, you but shouldn't. I don't, I, 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 well, I don't you shouldn't. <laughs> he says, you shouldn't. doesn't stop the fact that, like, you know, they they always complain like, "Oh, you should escalate it." Fucking pull the trigger, then. God damn it! <laughs> like so you what? even brought sixty snuff dreads to nine UI. Fuck. So what Dude, actually happened in terms of like, probably block just because I know that you're saying like it's not disbanding, but if you're going separate ways, it's disbanding. Like, what actually happened? Garbage like, coalition went in the garbage it. can. Who cares? I mean, no, it's not that. It's it's honestly a sad thing to see. Garbage coalition that's been around for 15 years. Okay, buddy. It honestly say. is a sad thing. Like I've been doing something right if we've been around for this well, long. Well, let's right? let's let it's CJ explain it. Question, huh? Let's, let's let CJ explain it real quick. 
I know people have had herpes for 10 years. It doesn't make it a good thing, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's true, the, that's true. It, is, it was a, honestly a sad thing. It wasn't even what Wrecking Crew wanted for probably to span. It just happened. Wow. It was a you shit should have thought about that before you shot yourself in the foot. I what didn't shoot myself in the foot. You what? did. You fucking killed your last fight, you retard. Oh, what broke me? Watch your mouth, first of all. This is a family channel. Right. No, it isn't. You shut up. Shut up. Shut up. Okay, that's, shut up. that's pretty fucked up. Let's see Jay talk for two seconds. No hard no ones. No so what, 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 what did it for me? What did it for me was the last fight that we had against you. This is a perfect example. We had about fifty nightmares against what sixty max. We were barely breaking max. Like we couldn't even break one Mac. And you still dropped three faxes. And that tell told me, why, me that tell, you guys tell, don't want to have fun. You want to win. It, and that's fine. It, I'm down. I dig it, dude. It, you guys uh, want to win. That's fine. We want to have fun. That's not our have... play style. We never have been like that. So, CJ, you guys are the using the question fucking... is we lack, we lack, well, we don't, we want to have fun. So, that's what we yeah, want. Yeah, you lack the drive. I've seen your dread count. Can you you want to go somewhere of... else. Guys, give me give me one moment here. Uh, the person that flipped all the care factor solve is in the drag me channel. Who is it? Web wish. That's my alt. I sure as shit. Definitely not free. All right, all right, all right. He's so a, I'm gonna. XPL. We'll just bring. We're everybody's here. I just don't know. I don't know how many people are in this channel right now. Let me do the count, and then. Uh, it was capped at 15, and then I couldn't get in right. a bit. So yeah, we're gonna make we're gonna make here is tap 16. It's 22 in channel now. So y'all just have fun. Nice. I'll uh I'll listen. Just get rid of all. <clears throat> just get rid of all the so, PLNC people. We don't need them. Okay, yes, bye. <laughs> make it a low sec. Let's make it a little fucking full low sec discussion. Yeah. 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 No, if we start talking about low sec, I'm cutting the fucking stream. 150. percent We're low sec. Why? Why? Are you afraid you're having low fun? Redline, what's wrong with Losek? Everything's wrong with Losek. Losek yeah, Burr, you want to fuck Redline in the ass? I don't and... like him anymore. <laughs> what do you mean? Oh my god. Stop. I'm, I'm not fucking any asses, okay? <laughs> no, don't, don't say that. Like, you not don't know that for sure. Just, like, not his. Jesus. Okay. Metaphorically. Um, All right. So, at the end of the day, essentially what's going on, so, probably Black in general just isn't in the... Hold on one second. Probably oh. Black in general just isn't in the mood to deal with like the Sov stuff. The actual I mean, we are as long as it's a good time. Well, it's I mean characteristically, Sov Null okay. is not a good okay. time. We've had currently. some really fun. Believe it or not, we've had some really fun Sov fights with these. We guys. Were, there was kidding. there was it's a lot of good ones. A couple of, two three hours straight of just skirmish fleets just going at it, and it was fun. It was, it was fun. I liked it, and then it then it stopped being fun. And then people stopped showing up. Yeah, so yeah, when it was when it became you know, you less about answer, having Redline? fun and more about like, look, we, this is RC wanting the to RC win side. the region, re win this no, area of the region. No, let the man talk. Come on, dude. No, Let's no, get some no, respect, no, no. huh? We yeah, put some, this, put, some put some respect. Put some respect, God, like, put some respect, respect can, on can my name. Clarify something, so I know. Like, is this meant to be family friendly, or can we say whatever? Say I mean, this is you can say, so since we've got, avoid since we've got 20 some people in here, you can't say no, any no, gamer no, words. I know right? the no no words, okay, right? There's 22. So like, anything that would break, no -no anything, no -no anything that would break terms of service for either Twitch or Discord, you cannot say in here. And the only thing that you can talk about is in game stuff. Anything in person cannot be talked about unless it's okay, talking shit. about pre. So I can't talk about Seto's pee pee. No, you what can't. You prefer? In game, <laughs> in, in game you can. Yeah, you can't. You can't. Really nice PP. Let's be real. Okay, now I can hear shit. Okay, so I'm gonna do. Rock. It got so, to a point in the sob fights where we were just tired of running in fucking servos because the sob entosis is dumb. It is the dumbest mechanic in this game. So we're just like, all right, let's just drop facts on nodes and then just do so it. So don't do it. Or just win and drop facts on nodes and yeah, force you to win. Of course, the, the answer is so obvious. The idea of the, so idea of so the facts so is, is to you're force doing you that. to fight well, instead of going around just skirmishing around the region. It is to force you to fight because we put a capital out there. That was so, the whole and, intention and what, behind it. And, what, and then you were the like, oh, there's that? a fact 
six there. What was the result? It was the result. Oh, you right. out. So now you have no pussy right. out. Good job. You, see, you had the job. You had 80 dreads formed, and we had maybe 30. And you no, we did not. Out. Yes, you did. No, we did yes, not. What, what a load of malarkey. On the R3. <laughs> I was in fleet <laughs> position. I know we didn't have that many dreads. Yeah, we had you like 20. You All right. Had so so there is a, there is a Twitch poll. We wouldn't be CJ. CJ, I can link BRs where you've had more than that amount of dreads. Oh, you literally had what, five years ago. You had so there's a there's a Twitch poll. Left in state. There's a Twitch poll it's in chat. It's certainly possible. To be fair, it's certainly possible that Pravi could at some point form 80 dreads. However, did Pravi have any escalation path above the dreads? What happens no. if Titans and Supers come in at range? Yeah, that's how they yeah, play. You yeah. think we're going to drop them with snuff cap drop right supers? next door? Though? I wouldn't drop caps with, with snuff on grid either. Yeah, yeah, they helped us, but I don't trust them. Whoa, 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 whoa. You're a there. There You guys are cool, man, but I don't trust whoa. you. I've seen we, what you guys whoa, whoa. do. Let's get Kintao defend. Yeah, Kintao defend. Yeah, Kintao defend. Yeah, Kintao stuff. Kintao 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 that's your not. Out, but I've seen you murder yeah, for the love of God, no, shut that's the fuck up. Tau. First no, off, that is not Tau. No, I, know, I know. I know. If you're gonna, if you're gonna slander me right now, okay? Like, I am. I am Tau AD. Okay. I'm the Russian <laughs> FC Tau. Hello, Batiso. <laughs> I don't know who you're talking about, who this Batista character is. All I know is I'm Russian. And let's, I'm take a, let's take a moment of silence for BBTV's awful attempted bombing <laughs> and see what now. Was it, was it really that bad? He lost every single hound. No, Y'all killed I, I me too from, fast. I, I want to hear from Weebwish. I want to hear. Imagine, from imagine using yeah. six bombers. I'll to bomb shut the fuck up. Let's get oh this God. off the table. Yeah, because... so one second though. Because the whole flipping of care factor was had nothing to do with wrecking crew. Right. So Webwish wow. actually pay, played a, like a, a critical role in this whole thing. So maybe we can listen to uh, the role that Webwish had if Re Webwish decides that he wants to talk about it. All right. So before we do that, for anybody watching the stream, I would highly advise that you turn your volume down to 70% or lower. No, just turn it up. Because the Twitch poll is deciding that I stop moderating the channel. So I'm going to continue. God, Please don't. No. Yeah, that CJ's like a fucking Every time I come on here, I make a mess. I'm sorry. I don't, I don't no, to. it's, it's you're totally nature. fine, CJ. I enjoy talking to you, CJ. I'm, you're just an like, idiot. I'm asking. You're, yeah, and you're, you're worse, dude. I'm sorry. Okay. 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 No, you're all right. You're going off the We're going off the God. Can we please let the guy fucking talk about this Medicare factor for the love of God? Yeah, Weeb, talk to us. Web, Weeb, not Web. Web, but not Weeb. Fuck. Jesus. Anybody oh. see any good memes on Reddit today? I'm gonna fucking kill this. Oh my god. god. Hope, shut How up. How are you I doing, have... Briss? Okay. Yeah, yeah, everybody yeah, everybody yeah, to let this is the whole fucking one. party. Can we get Asher on here right now? Everyone really really talking good. about shit that matters now instead of some dead fucking coalition? I'm gonna go. Yeah, we're still talking about that. coalition's been dead for months. You yeah, guys. Can, can I say something? That's Providence. Every time goons get invaded, every time goons get invaded, don't probably just fall over and die just to get some fucking attention. Like every every time. Up. Let Webwish speak, please. Holy shit! Who the fuck shit. is Webwish? He's it's important. He's my oh, okay. Leave him alone. Oh, Briss, I got a good fucking meme for you. Go into cesspool. Oh no! Here Jesus we go. Christ! Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Everybody oh, see here. I'm Doctor Fleet, you fucking bad man. Let's go. We okay. got, we got, we got Vertizu's wormhole. Dude, I'm fucking, okay. Man. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Web. Web all, right, all right. All right. Can you guys hear it's me? It's you. Yes, yes, we can hear you, oh, okay. and only you. Doing? Nobody else is gonna talk yeah. except for you. Yeah, two things. First of all, Probably's been dead for years. We all know that. It's just been hanging on by like a really skinny thread just to stay alive. And I had nothing to do with I have nothing to do with Wrecking Crew. Uh, they just some people that I know. Okay, so it's not like I'm a spy for anyone. I didn't do anything because of any of that. Let's get that out of the way right now. I used to be leadership in Care Factor years ago. I left them years ago because I couldn't stand CVA. I mean, it's it's that simple. And, you know, if I offend anyone, I'm sorry, but that's just the way it is. And I didn't make a big deal. I just flew away. And I'm with uh, PL now, and I'm very happy. So what you're saying is you're it's a wrecking no crew spy. No. I mean, if you want to call it, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Yeah, I'm not saying. I, I was told that a spy had flipped it, and I see why they say that, because obviously you're in PL, so that, that makes sense. Those, so those, if, you, if you did what you did, I don't care. It's, so you, it's, it's bygones be bygones. Is, is, that, is that a Southie accent? Okay, so you flipped, you flipped the Sav without any provocation from anybody else. 
why did you flip this off? You said probably has been dead for years. They literally just now started disbanding like yesterday. So there's obviously something else there. And I feel like you want to tell us what it is. Am I right or am I right? Well, I could get, you know, I'll talk about it. I mean, I have nothing, nothing really to, uh, to hide with it. Um, being I was in probably for 10, 12 years. And uh, the way it was run, it, was, it just wasn't run very well. Uh, there was a lot of lies coming from the very top, um, from both, you know, from all, the whole coalition to us. Uh, we had a bunch of people that didn't want to fight. Um, you guys were talking a couple of minutes ago about, you know, a whole bunch of dreadnoughts coming out and undocking. And then they would dock right back up again when, once, like, you know, three other ships showed up or three other caps from the opposing forces showed up. And I didn't want to live like that. I wanted to fight and keep fighting. CVA ran every chance they could. They never wanted to stick up and fight. And when PL and Northern Coalition came in a couple of years ago, the first thing that CVA did was call a massive retreat to LOSEC. And me and my group of 30, 40 guys sat and fought. And I we remember. fought. Yep. Yeah, I, I fought. There with you, dude. I remember when CVA withdrew to uh, what the Karim. 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 And yeah, it left us all to fend for ourselves. I was like, really? Can I ask a question? Were you there? Were, were you guys part of the whole, let's throw a bunch of like random destroyers at a bunch of Ferox fleets while we were yes. trying to shoot your shit? That was insane. Yes. That was insanity, that was dude. I was on the other side I, of that. I was in NC at the time, but like my fingers were fucking sore at the end of that. And that was the idea of it. Um, it was a self-funded by me war. When you guys invaded us, it was like basically me. I mean, my the alliance was nothing. Um, it, it was funded by me. And so we, used to, we were building hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of destroyers just to annoy the hell out of everyone. It was the only way we could survive. You guys outgunned us. Um, a, but it, line, something, right? it worked. Like, what's, I mean, what's more stupid, standing down to, an, to a force that can 100% defeat you or feeding destroyers relentlessly? Like, what's, I mean, there's, there's a middle ground. It was more to, fun. It was, it, it was fun, but also it did work. I mean, these guys, they, they, they got so annoyed with us, they stopped fighting us. Because it was it was annoying to them, and I and I knew that. I lost, you know, we lost, we got flattened pretty much, and then you know, uh, Northern, then PL came in from the top and just you know wiped the hell out of us until uh, you know whatever peace agreements were made. Um, but we were we weren't going to leave. It, it was our home, you know, and I I would do it to this day if somebody came into where I was living, which we don't really live anywhere, but um, I would fight. That's just the way it goes. You guys went through like fifteen hundred destroyers or something in nine UI that one day, right? What's well, be uh, quite quite a, a a boatload of t billions of dollars. I'll put it to you that way. To you know to keep to try to keep that space and and there was a few systems that we fought for that we ended up keeping. Um, you know, like GP was sure one of. there's better ways of spending billions upon billions of ISK to fight a Ferox fleet than feeding destroyers like one at a time. You know, everyone, you know, I understand what your point is, but, you know, my point is also we were playing a game. This is a game and this is what we do. Um, we had fun. We also had a great time. I mean, some of these guys, and I caught a huge respect for those guys, for NC and and, uh, and for PL at that point. And right when I ended up joining them a couple of years later, the first thing I said to him, I said, you guys got a lot of respect for me because you guys were good. You were organized. You didn't, you know, you kept on going. And, um, you know, so it's fun as well style at the end of the day is what i'm gathering from this whole thing i mean i don't think he cares he doesn't it's just very like they're very different our play yeah, style yeah. and rc's play style are very different we're you know more guerrilla warfare you know we don't have any cap backup you know we just don't there was no no one to call you do to, you know, to drop there, right? a, dread, a dread bomb not even close so RC's yeah. capital fleet it, if anybody doesn't know they had it's a, they pretty had, big. They had 90 tunes parked in right, 9UI, right. including the 70s. And you can log in twice that in 30 well, seconds. No, we seen. can't, CJ. Like, yes, you, I've seen it, dude. Oh my God. I seen it with my own eyes. Oh, my God. They you can literally the, make me just want to. For the KVP mm. fucking soft timer, dude. So I saw it. You had all like over fucking you. 50 even Titans try. on grid, dude. What'd you say, <laughs> Billy? You don't that? even try. If you, spent you half say, as Billy? Much, if you spent half as much time training Dreadouts as you did role-playing, you might actually be able to fight. <laughs> that's absurd. Oh, oh, God. God. That's absurd. Oh, oh, oh. Mar Victor, no. Can't do that. So the, the main issue... That's with... also a thing. We don't do Dreadouts. It's like I... a huge scarcity 
everybody in RC has like six dread alts. It's insane. You don't do dread alts. I understand the main reasoning behind that. Let uh, let, let Mark forward to why why he pulled a CF apart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Webwish. Um, so so you ended up for a while. So right. So been dead for a while. Structures. How many structures did you end up selling to various groups? Uh, 17, I think it was either 17 or 20, something like that. I'm not exactly sure. Yeah, it wasn't about it wasn't about that. It was just about the first thing I did is when this this alliance fell into my lap because of the poor leadership, they were so desperate to, to for some sort of change. The, the thing just fell into my lap. And, you know, and I'm sitting here and I was sick at the time. Unfortunately, I had COVID. I'm all good, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it was just like it was in front of me. And I spoke to my bosses in, in PL and I said, listen, this is the situation. Any interest? No, there was not much interest because what are they going to do? Um, so the next best thing would be the wrecking crew. Um, and I wasn't sure exactly what I was going to do yet. And But after I sat on it for like, a, you know, thinking about it for like a month or so, I said, yeah, I'm going to take the, the alliance. And I, and I they gave me, I wasn't a uh, director. I was, this, they actually made me CEO, a alt tune omega not omega alpha tune they transferred to ceo ship of the alliance knowing that i'm a red that i wasn't gonna not be a red and they gave it to me three days later that's when i pulled the plug spicy dude um excuse me guys um i have a bit of a question for both uh cj and webish i mean you guys say so much about having a fighting spirit but how about actually getting say organized and actually kicking back at the wrecking crew say with whatever ships you can in both derelict and devoid you guys really don't set, set foot into losec uh, first of all low sex for weenies okay i don't do that uh, second of all they outnumber us right now as it sits they outnumber us probably two to one what timers you yeah, talk about wrecking crew but you know go back a bunch of years they I didn't form 300 dudes i'll shit a twinkie right now that's Remember, like insane we only formed 140 dudes for this most recent you can topic. shit a twinkie because eq's dick is so far buried up there. you only yeah. formed 140 Yikes. dudes because you yeah. killed your members and their interest in the game you had terrible leadership no you, no, you did because you provide shit content for us that's why we're uh, i mean Excuse me. You're too scared to lose one ship in a fight. Hey, so you drop know, it back every time hey, you see something. Hey, no, what do you think snuff does? Oh, oh, snuff does? Oh, snuff does. I'm not running snuffed. Or what does snuff toxic. do? Tally D, tell yeah. us what snuff does. Well, uh, we drop Metallicas and uh, Apostles. Okay, so. What the fuck's a Metallica? A Metallica <laughs> is, is uh, a Macario. Chalka's the Russian slang for Wait. Macario. Am I gonna so be... Why are you talking like you're on Xanax? Am I going to be DMC for saying Metallica? Is... Possibly. Metallica. Metallica. So for viewers that don't actually oh, know like, Metallica, what the fuck is going not on... Not Metallica. Okay. Got it. Look, don't right explain right. what's going on, Loki. That's part of the allure of the show. Okay? <laughs> I just yeah. want to explain why. So, 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 Care Factor was an alliance within Providence uh, that were obviously not having a great time, uh, and Webwish ended up getting executor essentially of the corp, and then sort of got rid of all of their solve, and that was kind of a significant event. Not not because um, CVA and Severance and other alliances within Provi were not having like a great time. Like they they were also at, at a very low state. But that allowed RC to gain what seven or eight systems seven out of, out of the eight. possible nine. Oh, out of the eight, right? Okay, so that was kind of significant. There, uh, CVA and Severance formed. They tried. They they ended up getting eighteen tech, and then they tried for other systems, and they were just basically denied at that point, and then stopped trying. So that was kind of the beginning of a sequence of events that led to Pravi kind of just getting the fuck out. Pretty much what I was hoping to do. I so, mean, fucking. After the sob dropped the R34 sub. timers that weekend, as well as I think the KBP7 IHUB timer, Snuff showed up for the Fort timer. We blue balled the Fort timer, focused on the IHUB timer instead. Snuff then proceeded to leave for the Fort timer and not even can help can probably contest the IHUB timer. It was G5. Probably, or it was, it was G5, G5, not G5, KBP. Yeah, yeah G5. Yeah. And so we took G5. And then after that, the nip was put in place about four or five days later, and then we stand where we are now about five days after that, not even maybe four. 
Yeah. Can I just say that like, I just joined this coalition uh, a couple weeks ago, and it seemed like the major content driver for the coalition was Providence. And the first thing I said in a meeting with some dudes in, in the alliance that I'm in is, uh, you guys probably should like stop fucking railing on Provi so hard because they're kind of important. What coalition to, is that? Uh, Silent coalition. Our, our, I'm in RC. We're in oh, RC. I'm sorry. Right crew. Yeah. So anyway, so um, and then you know a few few weeks later, this is the end result. It's, well, if you um, think about it, not... the only two conflicts in Eve at the moment, what or only two conflicts going on was Provi. And then now the goon war. And if you touch anyone else outside the goon war, everyone's going to look at you and be like, hey, you should be shooting goons. All right, you're next on our steamroll list as soon as this goon war is over. Like, that is hello, Wangs. Hello, Wangs. Hey, no. hey please, let so, me, please let me go with you. But now, like, as soon as this goon war is over, then other content will happen. But if you're not involved with the goon war, Wangs you sort of have next. to sit on your... You sort of just... <laughs> have... Because you can't make a move on any of the big blocks because they're all teamed up together right now. Um, Cyril, do you remember when I'm in space from pizza? I mean, I, I remember he used to do like talwars on thrashers and punch way, way above his weight. And he used to actually kill a fair bunch of caps with fucking T1 destroyers and battleships, guy groups with T1 destroyers. And I see the fighting spirit of Providence and the only thing I see them doing is like farm 6 out of 10 sitting in Provi. Nothing wrong with six out of tens, my friend. Rob, the, the two problems. The two, do you love doing your six out of tens? Good coin. Two, the two Very reasons that she says the two reasons that's not happening is number one, the meta change. So like Tal Wars and Cormorants can be easily countered by a small group of highly skilled people. Um, and, um, number, and number and number two, uh, Pravi does not have a when I am in space type of person. They don't have like a main, like a centralized, you know, one person. As they like did. A he they did. It was Ark. Ark was a really good FC. He just didn't have the backing or materials he needed to be over that ledge. He's a very good subcap FC. Well, yeah, yeah, Yinto was the uh, Yinto, whatever the fuck that guy's name is. Uh, uh, yeah. He he was kind of like the when I was in Project, uh, he was guy. the guy. He was the guy who was like, when he comes back, everything will be better. Just wait. And then That's I don't bad. know. I, I don't guess eventually he came back, back, and then immediately went to test or something, 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 something. Uh, then he immediately. Yeah, 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 that guy. Yeah. Actually, then he went to go make his own alliance. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He did. Yeah, yeah. That is correct. And so and now, are they currently uh, an alliance in the game, or I think that alliance disbanded. I will say, I will say that we did absolutely farm you guys to the point where, like, this, like, we didn't help this situation at all. Don't get me wrong, but at the same time, like. At the end of the day, I think it's the fucking your leadership that kind of like put the nail in the coffin, you know, like and not CV or Severance leadership or APOC leadership. It was fucking CVA you fucking ruined it, and you know it. Oh, that's because Equity just stopped playing. I told you that he lost interest in the game, and that's what that's happened. Fair. And even when Buster yeah. offered to take so over, then past the he hasn't had a dedicated and... FC of their own, and I can't remember. Vishnu Gretzky, once in a while, well, come on this, and run a fleet, but that's it. It's been on. Hard. Does Kill role playing need an FC? I mean, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it does. It's a very serious business, okay? Well, then I nominate all kinds Kyle. Of books you got to read and stuff. You got to be indoctrinated. You got to. DJ, why don't you FC? I'm our Victor. FC. Then why aren't you? Don't do you aren't you that? I don't do strat off fleets. He's doing primary as red line in the claymore. Oh, sorry. Well, I'm I'm around, 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 uh, don't. Uh, I'm anchoring with you. Relax. Do small gang in Hayes RC, TRC all day. It's okay, okay, CJ. I don't pressure. run fleets because I'm bad. Just don't because, undock. Because that 10 billion kills you get in a fight, I get 10 times that during the week farming fucking noobs. Wow, what a flex. Hey man, it's got someone's got to do it. It might as well be me. A lot of yours. I kill a lot of poor little reeds, man. Bless you guys so I don't you get them all. <laughs> are you just gonna take a break from the game, or are you gonna continue FCing? seeing? For the no, he's gonna, and all? he's gonna. He's gonna fall the rest severance of to wherever they go, and then DJ join. Bobby. Join our team. I mean, obviously, if I join Legacy, it's gonna be pretty hard to get into the FC team. I know that. Not DJ. really. Come with us. Come with Wrecking Crew. I don't know. Yeah, right. I'm not going to play with you, weenie. I don't, don't want to fly right. with CJ. Because you know what you're going to do for the next six months? You're going to play station shooting simulator. No, not no we're going to tell you to train a dread all and train a fax all. Uh, no, he mocked. He mocked. 
okay, so, I can't keep my Arazu all alive for more than a day. How the fuck am I going to keep a dread all? Uh, about your Hecate. Uh, I ain't about it. Change the subject oh, dude, up because this Hecate's is going like, to Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So, so, I so I have one, so one last I question. One last question on the on the Pravi thing. I just the, and then we're gonna move on because Seto talked about the second conflict, and that's what we're gonna talk about here in a second. So two questions actually, two questions, and then we'll we'll move on. So first question is for our guys in RC. Um, RC guys, do you regret this happening? Like, do you wish that, that it wasn't? Point. We wish it played out differently. We there's a reason we agreed to doing a nip. So that, you know, it was time for us to focus on the Goon War and them to rebuild, refocus, and figure out their issues so that we come back and then our war could continue, but at a better pace than it was going, as well as better fights for it. The, the two months was a reason. It was a reason we agreed to doing a nip because we didn't want to kill Bobby. When you yeah, say we, better, we, when you say better, do you mean a slower pace? Because I've been a in slower RC pace, for three like, weeks. Also, the, the hope was after what had happened, that they take a look at like their structure because like there's a group the providence has like they broke off a coalition called like red alert involving the smaller groups and they they were like the new blood leadership who's trying to do a lot but apparently like eq this was talked about on tis some but apparently eq would shut them down like there's no coalition or srp they're like the players were like alliances the small ones were expected to, like fund their own srp and stuff like this so cva was getting most of the big bucks and the smaller corps yeah, weren't so like they fucking op and then so ra was like okay well we have no fucking money and our, all our system ADMs are going to shit so let's all team up together rat together do coalition srp together but eq just didn't want to have it and they were just like the eh. new leadership of ra tried to reform and restructure and the idea was during this time they could try to push that but eq just kept shutting them down and wouldn't let them try to redo it he was set on the way that probably was going and that structure and the way it was formed and the politics and the lineup of it all just was not a way that was sustainable any longer and ideally they you know two months pass they're they restructure the new leadership comes up eq finally quits the game or you know moves on and then we have a much better conflict with better leaders at the front i would argue uh, let's, that let's uh, not forget that uh four months ago they were offered a nip as well and eq rejected it without saying anything to leadership yes that yeah, is so true. it sounds like there is definitely some some internal stuff there and then this last question i have is going to be for cj um on the topic of the the providence stuff do you think that Pravi block as it was will ever make a resurgence in this beautiful game Eve Online, or is it is it as, done done? As much as I hate to say it, and it breaks my heart, but yeah, it'll be back because we're a bunch of stubborn bastards and we won't give up. We've been it for a while. It's, it's the, gonna. The it, I guarantee you, that's our spirit. Time? If it's not us, it's somebody else will do it. You know, Stop beating it. It's, it's a dead horse. Stop beating the horse. Hey, I mean, it's just because. No, it's my horse. You leave my horse out of this. My horse. Of Which horse is that? Probably they always come back. They, All right. Have in the past. I, I assume cool. that at some point in time they'll be. CJ, I'll rent systems back out to you if you want. Can I say something? Uh, we get sure, to meet you in a couple of weeks, ago, so. Yeah, let rain. Hey, let rain. I'm big. Shut the all, fuck up. Shut up. All right, go ahead. Shut so up. there's an alliance. I believe it's called Total Eclipse. I know they're gonna try and live on with the not red, don't shoot sort of lifestyle. Pravi has. So it's the red alert guys. They're folks like it. Team that new leadership that broke off from EQ, the hey, red alert. let's let's let Rain talk and not just talk over her randomly. Well, Hello. Guys hear it? Hello? I was gonna say yes, people people it. want to apply um sort of the Pravi style sort of like that they had. I know Totally Eclipse is going to continue doing that and they accept new bros, so if folks want to try that out, there's always that option. Okay, you guys go back to arguing. No, no more. Arguing. Could be done better. Uh, uh, NRDS was about, that's who's doing the NRDS. So it's Total Eclipse, APOC now, and Team Mock, uh Team Maidens One Chalice. They're all gonna go to Faction Lois. Yeah. Faction all right. Warfare. So now we're gonna now we're gonna shift into the rest Thank of the God. topics of the night because I want to talk about one eye hub, just one, one eye hub. hub. The best meme I've ever made. I just want to say that. Just one. Just Guys, one. I already told you when that episode came out, it was two no, eye hubs. No, that's I, spinning. Do I have to keep spinning? It's not spinning. 
You guys that took Jewish it like days place. later nope. and were like, oh, Brusk is lying. But hey, it's I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring up when these iHubs got killed. Give me a second. Was two iHubs. Spoke too soon. Aged very well. There's just an out of right now. Not age well. But well, I, I look, Mittens wasn't there. I had to pretend to be him for a little while, right? But I gave yeah. you guys all kinds of credit. I said, well, You guys are you saying that Mittens is a liar? It was given a spin. Brisk, at the time, I think one oh, iHubs, no. it was two iHubs. You misspoke like by one big fucking deal. But then people were taking it and they were like, No, like, <laughs> look at all look, these iHubs. Like, but I mean, look, guys, I'm a lawyer, I can't fucking count. I mean, come on, cut me some slack here, please. <laughs> Okay, if lawyers can do anything, they can lie, okay? So, let's, you know... Well, there you go. So, I got it wrong. Bruce, can, Bert, can you go watch... literally a professional liar. Well, no. That's the politicians. Are you saying that politicians in America are liars? That is extremely not patriotic. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I'll tell, tell you what. I'll tell you what. I'm not honest. a... Bruce, uh, uh, then again, I am a politician, a so I could be lying. So I am not a liar here. So, Brisk, I'll tell you what. We're right now, we're in your space. We're doing something. Give me uh, your body. Give me 10 bill and I'll stop. No one's going to give me 10 bill. You're from Farming Dragon, so I guess the thing that you're doing is feeding horrifically. Oh, shit. That's yeah, give me 10 fucking bill and I'll stop. Rich, if you give me 100 bill, I'll give you the IGE keeps. About these fountain core groups, the groups that moved into fountain core. I heard all you guys do is try to reinforce the OP stuff and then not. fly into the keep star and get Doomsday. And this is true. Me? Fuck no. Fuck no. I mean, the goons tried to uh, DD the, uh, what was it? Four monsters and still lost. I don't know how the fuck they did that. Absolutely well, fucking idiot. Hey, if you want to, if, if the goons want to keep trading me monitors for sax fleets, that's, I'm fine with that. Can we talk Oof. about how the goon FCs today flew in eagles instead of monitors? Yeah, well, no, we, I'd, like, I'd like to personally thank, say thank you, Asher, for uh, ADCing before I shot you, so I wouldn't have to wait the entire ADC to then kill you. How do you that know was, he ADC'd uh, before you shot him? Because you can was, as soon him. as we all locked him, he ADC'd instantly. Have you ever I'm shot to, a hack before? What the I'm fuck? I'm trying to figure out who's that. that? Like, there is no... Oh my god. Hey, it's buddy, like, you know the ADC lasts a little while, right? It doesn't hey, just, Bill, it you know if you activate before we fire... Fucking you know, noob. if we turn it on before we fire, I don't have to wait for the entire fucking thing to kill you, right? Like, I, I just was curious how the fuck you knew that he, if you hadn't shot him, how the fuck did yeah, the, you know he turn it into the ADC? Because while DJ was, was anchoring, I looked at the ship to see which way it was turning to see if we had good transversal or so not. You're letting facts get in the way of a good story again, and that is a rookie mistake. Regardless, he blew up because he was anchoring an eagle for a Serb fleet, which was kind of dumb in itself, but. Yeah, yeah, well, I'm getting paid. Made, made mopping up the rest of those Serbs very, very easy. Do you? Do any of you guys know who the uh, goon uh, Jackdaw FCs are? I'm getting complaints from like Flood and other people that we headshot their Jackdaw FCs. I don't even know who the fuck they are. I don't oh, even know who, who they are. I wouldn't worry okay. about it too much. I, 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 shameful, shameful. You know, so, wagon. so I let's can't talk. Believe you had to do that, Rich. Uh, let's hey, talk hey, objectively hey, for hey, a that moment. Objectively that for a moment. Because Let's... I'm just so above everybody over there that I don't even know. I don't even bother myself with those FCs. Let's let's well, talk about that. Was really for a moment. Back real though. quick. <laughs> real quick. I'm sorry, Miranda. Does that real quick. Oh my god. That's a Brent, shout out. You're never gonna get a warning edge wise from Rich look, on your own show. Chris, Come on. Look, listen. This this is this is why we don't have 30 people in Discord channel. There's so 23. Let's count. let's talk about Fountain right now. Um, yes. because we've got, we've got Brisk and we've got, uh, we've got Miranda. We've also got a bunch of our gang here. We've got Blazing. We've got Alpha Wait, Star Pilot. Talking, we've got Alrock. Are you talking about the future snuffed out Rainbow Empire? Miss me, uh, what the fuck? Oh, Look, God. you're... Do you want some of Fountain? Because I, I know we're definitely looking for people to come live there. Oh, what they... Cool. No, like, and CTL's gonna uh, live there. Anyway, you make so a, uh, right now, rental space that's open now. I'm a rental manager. If you want to like DM me, we can set oh, it up. Miranda can get you get some rent. really good rates on Cloudering right Wait, now. Yeah, so... I'll give you a discount because we're friends. <laughs> As of what right live now, in a swamp. Flood plains are we're... not good places to live. Like, I wouldn't say we're friends. Before. Okay, well, people still live in the give mountains, me, right? Give me just a moment, guys. As of right now, 15 iHubs have been captured in the Fountain region 
on the western side in the entrance from Losec. Looking, looking flaming dragons run out like a fucking high sec. Rich, can we not get weird I'm on there. this? Okay. Don't knock, don't knock. I'm in nope. your fucking system. I'm in your stage and Canaris is in local. Okay, we I'm did it, Rich. Job, Rich. Undock. Okay. Fucking undock, do it. Rich is really excited that he's I, playing I, the I'm game. I have to turn Chris okay. Rich down. I'm a real okay. Uh, so we're gonna do the talking stick from now on, and I'm just gonna ask. <laughs> oh God damn it! Hey, wait, hold on, Brisk, are you talking shit about New Orleans, bro? No, oh, I just shit. said Orleans? people talk about building in a floodplain. We keep rebuilding New Orleans after. Oh yeah, month, so you're right. Know. You're right. Yeah, yeah I, I can be within it on that one. So, CJ, so let me ask you I this. So, Brisk, I want to know that. I haven't had a chance to talk to you about how you feel about this, and I'm not going to spin this in a way that's like trying to wedge a divide between you and goons. I'm not going to do that. But do you guys, like, do you as a line member in, in it, because I know you're just a line member, and Miranda, you can answer this too, um, but do you guys feel that goons should be bringing more people over? Or is the amount of people that they're bringing over like a sufficient amount? That amount the being approximately zero most of the time. That's n mm. so that's not true though. And there's a the ongoing problem is that like they're being very smart about when they're attacking and they're hitting us and they're coming back for these timers like right in between EUTZ and USTZ. And it's called the garbage and, time zone from now on. Whoever yeah, doesn't agree with that, pretty so, garbage. Fucking liar. Unless you live in Atlanta. Time that's zone that's for Atlanta. Atlanta. Can I, can I finish or are you guys just going to talk over me? You guys back to your like, white privilege and let the woman speak. Fertisa, can you please get happy? So, um, so they're, they're in between time zones and then moving into USTZ. And everybody knows that in it is an EUTZ alliance. So we try to form, but in it, and goons together, like we cannot outform or form to even contest in USTZ. It's just a fact. And it's even like in UTZ with the numbers, a lot of times we can't contest it. So these yeah, timers are set by your alliance, though. Redline, to answer your question, yes, I think every Init line member is very pleased that every time we've asked goons for help, they have come. Okay, so you guys aren't like actually asking them, right? It's more of just like if they show up, they show up, or no? We, we ask them when we need them. Uh, we don't ask them when we don't. We don't, we don't depend on them to fight all of our fleets because that's not how in it rolls. So red so red line you can bring to fight like or, several hundred caps, right? <laughs> <laughs> in in your opinion, are you sh are is goons showing too few subcaps or too many subcaps? Like, what what is your opinion on this? Well, my opinion would be that I think that there's too few um, interactions with goons in Fountain, especially lately, because you would assume that you know losing a big chunk of the region is not ideal, especially when. You know we're not winning fast enough. But you're saying so, they're having a, a lesser but, showing than in but, it. Is but, that but, what... but, but but hold on, Bill. Red line. Yes, sir. You and me. Let's let's have a heart to heart. All right, let's have a heart to start. Just you and me. Did you see any of the stuff we said like two weeks ago when we started the fight? What'd you say? Any of it? We knew from the beginning that the chances of us being able to hold fountain were very low. Yeah, we and literally said that like, we're prepared to lose fountain. We didn't care. And that's the thing. The bottom line is we're going to fight. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to keep fighting. We're going to let you guys burn down every structure we have. We're going to fight until we don't have any more ships. And then we're going to go fight some more. Because unlike when NC Dot got glassed in tribute and decided after the first three days that they didn't want to fight anymore and just left and let us kill all their keep stars. You killed three. We're going to no, kill four in one day. Right? Like the meta was very different. Like in that situation, you could blow up with supers and hold titans and like. Brisk and I. That's fine. Are having but a my heart to heart. But my point is, my point is, we're going to have some good fights. I don't care what happens to Fountain. I know Miranda doesn't care what happens to Fountain. I don't think anybody in, in it gives a rat fuck what happens I can, to Fountain. I Brisk, can I have a question tell for you, you as. I have a question. Why does Tau AD sound like Haiwanto a little bit? It's not so, Fertiso. I want to hear what Miranda was going to say. 
sorry, sorry. So I am close with one of the like FCs, right? And in it. And he's been talking even before this war started about how we like fountain doesn't feel like home to us. And even about how actually, no, I'm not going to say that. Um, so you can say from the beginning. No, I can't. We you didn't say who it was. So you're clear. Have been okay. Oh, we don't know who it is though. Not it being in be fountain. Fun, though. And it's complete. Like, We've talked a lot about moving to Losec, like we where we used to be, and just running missions like we used to, and cutting off all of the people who are PVE bait. Like you said that the you were crabs. thinking about the moving crabs, to, sure. to run missions, and so, at the same time, so going, going from the PVE. last time, I, I, I think you I can't hear it. Guys, I will, I will tell you flat yeah. out right now. Most of us don't like Fountain. I never liked Fountain. I preferred Queries when we were down there. We came up to Fountain because that's where the content was. It was Horde border territory, and we got a lot of good fights. And then it became the pathway up north to go fuck with NC Dot, so we stayed there. But, I mean, at the end of the day, we go where the content is. You know, we're like, uh, we are not some kind of, you know, farms and fields kind of alliance. We never have been. So I like the fact that we're fighting, and I like the fact that when you know when Bliss has the soda today, and you guys saw what he said because Blazing Bunny took copious notes, and I'm very Take pleased notes. with him for that because I did not. <laughs> we're not evacuating. We're not. We're not leaving. We're sure. not going away. We're not blue balling or denying content. We're going to make you guys work for it, but we're going to get some good fights. And I mean, look, I have a question. Um, can I have a, happen. Hold on, hold on. No, can, can I nobody else can say anything right now. Nobody else can say anything right now. Nobody else. Nobody else. Because Brisk and I were supposed to have a heart to heart. And I want to answer what Brisk said first. Because I want to make sure that everybody in the chat knows that we just got a preview of this week's meta show. Just so you know, that's that's the spin. Um, so if you guys, you guys are gonna let us win in Fountain, is that what you said? Let no, us. No, that's not. No. I said win? nothing about letting you guys win. You you well, did. Okay, you did so literally you say fair, I'm gonna you let you. Let we're gonna let you kill, kill all our structures. We're gonna let you come yeah. fight. You guys want to fight? So, you're gonna kill the stuff. Well, if you, you want to kill it, you're gonna have to. You're the, gonna have yeah, to do it. Yeah, so, yeah. No, the point is that we are going to fight. But we also recognize that you guys are probably gonna kill all of our shit. Like we are that is the we goal, yes. are realistic it, yes. about hey, what is happening. Yeah, saying at the same time, we're not gonna contest most of the timers. B, we're not gonna surrender fountain. C, we're not gonna fight most of these fights. D, we're not gonna give up fountain. And it's kind of contradictory, really. There's nothing contradictory about it. Well, at the so end of the day, I'm try- I'm we're trying- gonna take the fights that we can take. We're going to fight as hard as we can, but we're not going to throw away assets for no reason because we're going to keep fighting. So basically, I mean, structure is not assets, though. So what I want to not what really, I they're already sure. down, and it's not, it's it, and it's all, it's all assets that belong to the alliance, not assets that belong to. Pl- we're not going to ask players to go out and lose. We're ships not going to wealth stupidly. shit for no reason. We're right. Gonna all, right. Do exactly. all right. Structure. So, but, but, I mean, and, and we we're what happy to take you? fights. You know, two to one odds, or or something similar to that. Three to one, maybe, but depending on the day. People and you guys undock right. twelve hundred. Like, what the fuck are we? Supposed but I, to I mean, do? we're point fighting, of we're clarification. This is exactly what you PL. shit on NC for doing in the tribute glassing. No, this is no, no, the no, no, exact no, 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 thing. No, it's not. Yes, no, it absolutely no, no, is no, no, because no, no, you no. brought you guys, fifteen hundred super caps was... up to our space and said, "Come out and fight." And we said, "Yeah, nah, fuck that. We can't fight that number, so we're not you even didn't gonna try." Even try the fuck you didn't we didn't. Try. I got into plenty school, of fights for that. NC dot, we still lost. We got into plenty of fights. Would have brought fleets in. They would have brought, brought fleets in, they would have sat out, they would have camped and tried to catch our stragglers, all that kind of on, stuff. I remember dropping supers and titans in that war. On yeah, June we, did one, we did one big drop in AU times, and yeah. it was supers, and then we, also, we did it in US. Also, yeah, we did it in US. Us, us, um, me and but like, also wiped out a whole Baltic fleet. Yeah, and we did that. Before. We did that when it was opportune for us to do so. 
We did the exact same thing, said the exact same thing. We're not leaving, but we're not going to stay and fight outnumbered, and we're not going to just feed our shit to goons. Those are the words that were said in our soda. That's what you did, though. That is exactly what we did. We fought when it was convenient. You guys yeah, like, and then we oh, ran that's... off when we got oh, outnumbered. Uh, Red line, I was there too. And that's not what you guys did. My guys ran off to the fucking Gemini and the drone lands. The and you never you never you contested guys, anything after like, like the first week. You guys, you had, if I could if I could pop in here for a second. So sure, I, I just have one one problem with one of the things you said, Bruce. Was that you were you were here to give fights. And I mean here and there, yes, but like in the past, I don't know, seven days when we've been burning eye hubs more, probably actually. And I don't know, I can't find specifically when you said we only lost one eye hub, so I won't, I won't get onto that right now. Saturday but, at 4 p.m. It's a meme, don't worry. Yeah, it's still a meme. Uh, 1 no. p.m., to be fair. Anyway, anyway, um, yeah, the video was hilarious. He, I, I don't agree with you in the thing as you'll take fights because, especially because, unfortunately, because of my sleep schedule, sleep schedule is entirely fucked. I mean, I, I'm awake practically all the time zone. And every single time zone, no matter if I'm in EU time zone F seeing fleets or I'm in US time zone F seeing fleets, I've taken, there have been one to one odds where I've been in similar compositions and I've seen your FCs stand out. And it's it's not. And it's not necessarily like a, it doesn't look to be like a, hey, I'm going to go fight you for everything because you're not. There's like, you're just not. There, there's, there's been multiple times where I, where I you just stood down, even when I've been there, outnumbered. It really depends on the FP. Like if it's Shines, it, and he won't, he won't say, he'll, Shines will take a fight, right? Shines will straight up take a fight. If he's outnumbered, he'll probably still take it. If it's like a completely unwinnable fight, he's not stupid. And the, but then there are some FCs that Shines, just won't, Shines won't take a fight. ZFC. We also have USTZ FCs that will absolutely take a fight, but they've also been criticized for being the type of FC that will go whelp an entire fleet just but to like, take a fight. So, yeah. Alpha Star, so, how many times have you fought us in the can last I just two like weeks? Complete one fucking sentence, uh, like one complete coherent fucking <laughs> thought for once. Is that okay with you guys? <laughs> I'm just wondering, as a person right. personally, if it's okay if I complete a fucking thought. You have to have a coherent <laughs> sentence to finish one. <laughs> Did tell. This is Whoa! Trash talk you know if you listen. No, 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 all right. So, Mirror, just, by all means, keep, keep continuing. No, it doesn't matter. It's just I haven't seen I haven't seen that level of will actually take fights because I, I can count on my hands. Let go finish. Talk about Let go finish. You haven't had a successful deployment in like the past two years on your own. Let's be real. What? And it hasn't had a successful deployment on their own in the past two years. Tell me when you have. Hard knock Citadel thing. Oh yeah, yeah. hard knock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. You're right. You're right. I mean, yeah, really that. everybody forgets that. Rage. No, but, no, but all right. Rage. If Miranda, if Miranda's not gonna not gonna talk because you guys are assholes and keep talking over her, then I will ask. I will ask Alpha Star. Alpha Star, how many times have you fought us in the last two weeks? You, we fight every night with you. You're out every night. I I will say I have honestly, as an FC myself, engaged in it way more than I thought I would be. Uh, but it definitely since the L-A carrier spaghetti feed you guys did it definitely like teetered way off of there and that's expected but i'm sure as uh now the war continues we'll fight some more what else to. happened after the ltac a spaghetti feed you guys lost all the ihubs what else happened like did test come to hop hip and put a ton of guys and death clones that's out true. there. I, I Did VVV no put a bunch of death clones in hop hip and move no ships one, down? I think Did no fraternity one, bring a bunch of guys down? I mean, look, we'll so take a fight like five to one, wrong. three to one, four to one. But it's it's as Miranda said it. We got three hundred guys no, versus fifteen hundred. We're not going to be able to take that fight. Risky, yeah, but you were you were talking about NC Dot and and fucking Bail and shit, right? And tribute or whatever. And honestly. I mean, it was kind of the same thing. Like, I was in some channels where we were just, like, we're forming, and then we're just not taking the fight, because you had fucking Tess and Oich in it in fucking Hakonan. You had the goons coming in with another fleet. And, like, we took, honestly, in, in those in all of those cases, I think we took whatever viable fight that we could get. 
to be fair. So, I mean, you can bitch uh, about getting outnumbered and blah, but that's kind of what being invaded is like. Trust me, I've it's happened to me a couple. I'm times. not complaining. I'm simply explaining. That's it's like what. the same fucking right. entities that are worn right now as back in tribute. What are you talking about? It's See, like the same. Yeah, but you guys numbers. are you guys are bitching about like allies in Panfam that are like coming to join the war and outnumbering you unfairly. It's it's actually kind of funny. It's no, I'm so, just I was uh, I'm only complaining about the fact that like y'all are just contributing to the stagnation of the game of Eve Online and it's very depressing to see how so invasions are invasions are dynamic. I'm not gonna lie as a goon, it's kind of funny to say. We'll, yeah, we'll move I mean, on it's, to it's that. fucking hilarious. <laughs> so, it's bunny. fucking hilarious. That's because he's just you, trolling. You have something you want to say, Bunny? What's up? Uh, I just wanted to say before I get off, because this isn't really that fun anymore. Um, This is a, like, one on one hand, yeah, if you guys want to have good fights, you're welcome to try to have good fights in US time zone. But on the flip side, this is an invasion, and I'm not really here for your amusement. I'm here to take Fountain. So uh, if you guys don't want to really stop me from tanking Fountain, then by all means, you can self-destruct all this shit and then move out. Go to low sec or go to curse or wherever the fuck we'll you delve. Otherwise, I'll need and you to get out. Uh, no, get out. Okay. Yo, no. shut up. I'm not done. Either undock and stop me or get the fuck out of the way. Thanks. Oh, On that note. Was, okay, Bonnie. I was going to originally um, say uh, to Elrock when he was talking man. about out a bunch of people in USTZ and um, us not necessarily contesting them. And it also is a huge issue of us having to pick our battles because it's like 24 seven that we're getting hit with shit, right? So we can't just keep our people undocked and uncall constantly. We have to give them breaks. Otherwise everyone's just going to burn the fuck out. And in wars like this, it also has a war of attrition at hand, right? So we have to keep that in mind with what we're going to defend and what we're not. Absolutely. I mean, with that, with that, yeah, you have to keep your level of attrition and whatever. But it isn't just U.S. time zone that I'm talking about. This, like, I have C and AU time zone. I have C and EU time zone when I don't oversleep. Yeah, like, that's just an example. It, e, or USTZ is my time zone, so it's easier for me to explain that that it is like early EU. I can understand I'm that, big. but I'm still like. I don't know if you you're you like you tell your FCs not to form anymore if they get hit because there's one Russian FC that FC'd a lot and then he lost a bunch of kikis and I haven't seen an FC since. Okay. And Micah was out today. No, no, was? Ando was doing okay. stuff somewhere else after he lost the kikis. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, if you guys want to like, I'm not saying don't go and hunt for 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 fucking dumbasses in other regions but like hey you can get a fight all you have to do is go to hofib panda doesn't have to find wormholes to go other places to fucking come <laughs> fight me yeah, but that's also what that? he likes to do though like that's pando's thing he likes to drop in with his people and try to do yeah, new shit, right? do that's new shit. Minute, but he doesn't yeah. enjoy just like undock again for the 800th time and fly to fucking hop hip for the 800th time and like pew pew and then come back that's not that's not what entertains most of it like that, right? Like that's why I, I don't understand why it need a big Nosek region. Like the they majority don't. of them, they they really don't. Don't. he's he's one of those main proponents of us leaving and going I to Nosek. I know. I mean he was talking about leaving the alliance like not long ago when like yeah. a little while ago. That's but, what I wasn't sure if I was like allowed to say or not no, yeah, that, no. that's a well-known that's a well-known fact you, you, you okay. can link it all you want i don't know what he says to other people so i'm not gonna it's pretty yeah, upset. Quite, i don't know Miranda. You, well you it's well quite. known now <laughs> yeah it's well known <laughs> now i'll give some mad respect to pando if he pulls the trigger and leaves and makes his own thing and does his own thing kind of like what set did with us so need to like like i what in it do and like the like, like on a lot of in it fleets and the people that seem to have the most fun it's always on pando's fleets you don't need to have all the fountain to do that you could live in syndicate like i know a lot of in it people want to do and like i can't blame them for not wanting to take a fight 800 900 a thousand to 200 because that's not a it's not a winnable and it's not b fun like i love fighting outnumbered because it's like a challenge but there's a difference between outnumbered and like pointlessly hopelessly outnumbered right and I mean, you don't need you don't need fountain to run a kiki fleet and go whaling. You I need a station in syndicate and, and maybe I, a couple of and, and I definitely think that initiative paying for goons crimes is definitely something that like it's sad. It's, you know, it, but it, it's the, definitely but at the end of oh, the day though, like I, I, wow. I honestly as a as just like a fucking F one pusher line member of in it, I do think 
that most in it members just see this as content and fights and literally like what we're here to do. We don't see it as like, oh my God, we're losing the war. Like we're all going to fucking die. We're like, hell yeah, this is 24 seven content. You know? I, uh, as much as people say that, I can always guarantee you that is not how people actually react. But, 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 it's not how but look, everybody but reacts. No, it's Maureen not. is a thousand percent correct. And I mean, look, the bottom line is, if you you guys know in it, you know Pando and Shines, they're not going to leave because we're getting invaded. Who gives a shit? We used to live on couches all the time. We used to bounce around from Curse to Syndicate to to Delve to Back to Fountain to up north. We didn't care. We tr we went with our content. Well, we were like PL. You know, you do not, do you not feel like uh, getting left out to dry is going to affect in it line members. Like, how are we opinion? getting left I'm, out to dry? Sure. Okay, okay, bit, okay. Let, let me let me do this one. Let me. Do I'm this a bit one. confused so, here. Are we? Are you? Are you leaving Fountain and going to Losec, or are you staying in Fountain and fighting for it? Because you said we're, two things. We're staying in Fountain no, and fighting. Like, That's okay, all right. Let, let me like, let me just break it down. We're gonna stay. And we're going to fight for our structures. We're not just going to fucking leave. But we also have the understanding that we will most likely be taken over. So we're not just going to let people take our shit and we're going to fight for it. But at the same time, we're fighting with the understanding that we will probably lose Fountain. No, that's like that's understandable and admirable. But if you're looking at the situation of like, A, we don't want to make it easy for people to take Fountain. B, we can't really form up when they form up because they have five times our numbers. That's a lot of blue balls for the next like two months while people grind citadels uncontested. Like, surely there's better things for everyone to be doing on, from your side of things. Do you know what I mean? Like, no, honestly, yeah, we don't have anything better to be do. We're doing stuff like, that we're doing right now. We're still poking I mean, and toasting things right now. Like, we're not like, just sitting here waiting for things well, to happen. Well, let, let, me, let, me finish, let me run through this truth because I'll try to explain it to you because this is like Alliance Failure Cascade stuff like 101. So, if you guys choose to sit in IGE, as the space you own burns around you and are impotently trying to prevent that to happen, it will literally kill your alliance quicker than anything we could do. We're not going to do that, Billy. You're you just said you were. Week, no, dude, that's team. not what we said. Here's, you guys, you guys are very good to do. at like, like, throwing I, up you, these straw men Chris, and then trying I, to knock them down. I have no you straw men say. here. I literally you, have points from the soda that I listened to. I read Bunny's notes. In in my mind, so I'm I'm assuming that you've all heard it, you've all seen it, seen the Reddit post, whatever. What in it will do is what in it will always do. In it is an offensive alliance. I don't mean offensive as in like they're disgusting or they're I'm you know offended. whatever we like that. You just said offense. I smelled bad. I mean yes. that in it is an offensive alliance as in they like to go on the offensive. They like to be the attacker. They're not super great at being the defender. At least as far as I can tell, honestly, this is the first time I've fought in it ever since I started playing EVE because I was in Goons for a while and I would never dream of finding in it then. But what I think is going to happen is that as we start pushing further into Fountain, we're going to see and we're going to see Goons start to come up more often. We're going to still see Fountain fall because it's overwhelming numbers, but this is the type of shit that Goons plus Enid have been doing for the last you know, at least two years, right? So, you know, you you give you get what you give kind of shit. You know what I mean? But what, what I think it. in it right. is gonna do is I think in it's gonna start counterattacking in some of our spaces. Like for instance, we saw some random fifty man in it Kiki fleet up into sing some systems in the spire, wiped them out with some caracals, no big deal. But that's the type of shit that's gonna happen. I would so I would see you guys doing like a subcap deployment with jump clones to maybe like the esoteria area or even like staying over there or coming up to low sec around tke spire all that jazz and then moving all your super caps into delve so that when the inevitable super capital fight happens you guys are ready to jump in on it is this is this outlandish brisk miranda no i don't think so no but listen, to, to, to counter the points of all of the people who seem to be, you know, trying to desperately to clog, unclog their ears full of shit, this is exactly what Bliss said, and I will quote it for you. We will not be abandoning Fountain, and we'll continue to fight on our terms, what we can, where we can, and until none of our structures remain. That is what we're going to do. 
in the immediate next two or three weeks or four weeks or however the hell long it takes you guys to burn down everything that's up there. We'll see. We'll see how long it takes. But all the you know the, all of the funny stuff of oh we're we're evacing and we're going to weed out into goons and and it's going to fail skate. I mean Jesus Christ guys, we've been through this before. I don't think anyone's saying like we, fail, we weren't in the casino war or anything. I'm not saying you're going to fail skate or weed out into goons, but it's uh, there's only so much you can do offensively with Kiki Morris the wormholes. I'm saying this from a third party. This isn't like I'm not in Pam Pam. I don't have like a stake in this. I'm kind of like a voyeur, but. Like, there's only so much you can do through wormholes with Kikis. And sitting in IG, like, I'm not I'm not saying you should fight these un, unfair fights, because they are unfair fights. Like, you're getting invaded. These are overwhelming numbers compared to what you have. So, like, there's realistically, if you try, if you see an opportunity to contest something, you're just going to get blobbed by an extra four or five hundred people anyway. So, is there not better? Th- I just, it seems like there's not, there must be better things better things for you to do it depends so yeah, like that one thing is. that Maybe happened now. the other day was that there was a fight over a fortizar in d4k what happened and and this is exactly i'll say it again this is exactly what ncpl did in tribute and uh veil when it was getting glassed um they were they brought in battleships they brought in triage whole nine yards and when it was just us uh, us being NC, and I think PL was with us, somebody else can correct me if I'm wrong, they were fighting us, and we were actually trading pretty favor, like, it was pretty even, right? I would even say that, Brisk, you guys were probably winning the fight, and then, once everybody else started coming in, you guys disengaged, which I that's prob- that's what you mean by on your own terms, right? Is that you, you fight until there's no point, and then you disengage. That's still giving a fight to the line members. That's still, you know, putting up, and I'll put it in air quotes, a fight, a fight that you know you'll lose eventually, but you're still fragging some ships. And that's, that'll get you. We're going to fight you... where we can. And that's what we said we were going to do, and that's what we're going to do. So I don't, yeah. I don't know why we need to keep, you know, trying to re-explain it in different words, but that's it. That's what we're, we're going to do. Well, I'm trying to give examples of the points you're trying to make. I, I'm I'm trying to say like this is this is why it's valuable is because even though eventually you'll end up losing the the entirety of the war, um, because that's it's gonna happen. <laughs> I mean, okay, you're gonna okay. lose Fountain. Like that, there's no we question don't about guys. That. They're, they're, look, the last time really that I checked, Jesus Christ. Red line. The what last I'm time saying, that I checked, you don't this care, was right? Legacy no declaring war cares. on goons. The last time I checked, this was legacy declaring war on goons. Nope. So this war is over coalition. when you guys take delve and clear it out. Last right. Time but I whatever you do with Fountain coalition? does not matter. I mean, you're you're okay. still part of their coalition. You're, you're still, sure. Of course. I, I don't really separate initiative from goons and except for the fact that you guys are slightly better at leading your fleets well um, that's weird because we have a completely different logo i mean yeah, yeah but you, are you, you members of the imperium or not 10 years yeah. are you guys members of the blue donut coalition or not it's i mean come blue on guys. Totally is, test, is, is, is test is test different from pan fam is so test this different is, from PL? This is happy pan fantasy yes. pan fantasy let's what did fantasy. you call it Risk. I got a question. What did you call it when Test was on your side? Still the Blue Donut Coalition then? We called it Imperial Legacy. If oh, okay, I, I got you. I got you. But wasn't Look, the Blue Donut but was, was, Test. Test, was Test different from Goons back then? So is, is that oh, I think they that. were. Is any of NIP the same as declaring no, war? No, they weren't. No. They weren't different from Test back of then. Of course, Test no, and Goons they were weren't. different. I'm pretty sure they're Look, Vili- little, little matter, peacetime like, bullshit fleets are you gonna don't let, matter, and they will never matter. Are you going to let this say that nasty but stuff about you? when Come there on. was a strategic uh, objective in play, Test and the Imperium, um, Test and the Legacy and the Imperium were the same. They were on the same side 100% of the time. They were yeah, never that was not. not always the case. That was not Didn't, always uh, the case. There, the there only some, time, like, frick, the only time there. was in the was in the fight for the Kamal Keepstar when everybody mm-hmm. was like, "Oh, we're gonna do this," and then Tess was like, "No, nah, you're not gonna do that," just out of the blue, because yes. I was there. Didn't that was beginning of when things started getting good in the game. Didn't you know, with a straight FP face for dread say bombing that, test. You can't say yeah. with a straight face that Tess wasn't wasn't with you in that, or wasn't like. Even if it was, well, they aren't blue. They, they still, every every single time they didn't shoot you guys. And it's not like, 
<laughs> hey, just, they're, they're allies, but they're not the same group. So look, that's what I'm trying to point out. They're, 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 they're initiative and the Ethereum group. are different groups. Allies, though. But n- initiative, initiative, and goons they're, are they're definitely their own ping the system. No, they don't. They're their own. Like Bastion uses goon ping system, right? They're yeah, pretty much the same as they are. Bastion's a initiative cool has their point. own pings. They have their Bastion own set of all that stuff. They are a separate entity. They're just <laughs> allies, but they're yeah, not they have a separate the same Discord group. server. I mean, we have because, a separate everything. Goons can because, yeah. I can get on Goons like comms. They can't get on Init comms. From our Correct. That's, right. That's because Init can form a fleet and Bastion can form like a mining party. You know, I it. agree. Like, they're, they're very <laughs> different they were, groups. Uh, oh, can I just say? Can I just say? I'm in in it, and I was blacklisted from Goons for a long time. So like, I don't can know I, how. That's toxic. Let me talk to Matai. Can I just uh, say like I want to I want to buy the real Tau ID, please. Uh, Tau ID is here. How can I help? You don't sound Russian, my friend. Uh, you do not learning. sound Russian. I've been practicing my English. Sorry. Sikabliet. Yeah. I just. Uh, I have a out right here. Out red line. I will be. Let's uh, hear it, Bill. I will. I will be super surprised if you guys get further than Red Rovering fucking iHubs back and forth with people in fountain up but there. i have if we lost guess. though since we like i don't i don't so hope. l taxi i taxi wait, wait Bill, no we haven't lost that. never mind super we surprised if they do anything more than just red rover some iHubs. yeah, yeah hey, like, cool we just put down some tcs we've literally been, been sorry TCUs, okay. wait, wait, hold on a second uh, are hey, you guys seriously gonna like, brag about tcs killed a few fortazars like as soon as you hit fucking radio as, lines, as, I don't know. as soon as you hit the keep store or anything like that you're gonna hit a fucking wall like you're gonna no, start you don't, losing you don't need to hit keep star right there. Need to kill the keep then, why do you need to kill the keep star like you just kill all the space around it and let them have a use a useless stocking citadel in the middle of hostile space like you don't need to kill keep stars like there's no point if you waste time killing keep stars you're wasting your own time you just kill the region, and then when they move out, you just get 500 Feroxes and like line them up in a death march and send them into the keep star. Well, not right. even because w- once you conquer all the space behind the keep or the keep in front of the keep stars, you can literally just use supers, and your enemy is like so far away they can't even defend the keep yeah, stars. Yeah, like keep stars don't matter at all. Like, unironically, they don't matter. We won the entirety of the frat war without shooting a single fucking keep star ever. Like, you don't have to shoot keep stars. This, this logic that the Imperium is pushing that it's like, oh, you're never going to be able to beat our keep star wall is the most like fucking laughable thing in the world. Wait, you defeated Frat. Every iHub, what are you going to do? Just sit in your keep star in a system that's not even owned by you? We're going to jump clone. And they're going to jump gonna clone. Chill. It's essentially like with MacArthur and the fucking. We're totally uh, going to ship World World and local the until you guys right? leave. You just, you just yeah. hop islands. You just hop islands and take all of the shit that actually matters and leave the dudes on the islands mm-hmm. alone. And they just uh, eventually start. People... Are, are, you guys, are you guys familiar with World War II at all? Yes. Uh, I just said that. Is that the war yeah, that England but, uh, won? There's a specific one, Loki. I'm, I'm not sure if you know it. Uh, it's this one huge Japanese naval base that we just bombed the fuck and didn't get, didn't go in. Um, corridor or corridor or something like that. That's their keep stars. We don't need to kill their keep stars. We can just fucking go around. Correct. Yeah, but I, mean, but I if, literally. If you don't yeah, yeah. Uh, housing, then they're just gonna go back out and take the fucking iHubs back and the TCU. Like this is this is fucking. That's not how it works. Either. That's not how it works at all. It's gonna scorch the fucking pasture real quick, and then like they're gonna take it back, and then it's just gonna be a fucking red rover. So, like, so they're doing. They're gonna jump an alliance that got evicted. Is gonna jump clone to their keep star, set it as their death clone, and repeatedly entosis for months at end. No group's gonna do that. Like realistically, no one's gonna. No, you just bleed members before great you. Way to, it's anything. a great way to die. Yeah, it's a great way to actually lose your alliance. Like, so really. no one, here's, no one will do that. Well, here's it's important to understand as well. Like, and this but is I a mean, truly they, important thing to understand, Bill. All of your logistics routes, all of those four desires, everything like that, is gonna be gone in like a week. Tell me how you're gonna live at a fucking IGE when you can't even fucking jump freighter in supplies. You need to you need to give your you line members to, something to give. Like them. your line members need to actually have the ability to use nullsec for its benefits. And if they can't, then you don't have an alliance in nullsec. And, and mean, then you're, you're saying well, I, you can go to low sec and do the low sec bullshit, but then you'll just get fucked there, and you can't come in and do this shit. Like if if you just leave the keep star there and jump clone back to it, you're gonna fucking lose it eventually. That's right. Black Rise is welcoming you, all refugees. Anyone that wants to move to low sec, come like, to Black Rise. Just because you have a beach house, you don't fucking have to live at it. So, so as Keepstar isn't a beach house. I'm, I'm... I mean, I want to live in 
Oh, you have God. a beach house in like Somalia. Yeah, you're gonna definitely go vacationing there every day, right, guys. So like we yeah, we've, like, we've taken Somalia, two. Oh, fountain is much. It's Syria. We've taken two constellations and fountain in the same amount of weeks, and if we follow the line, we are three constellations from cutting fountain off from Delve by jump gates. Anyways, that's that means. At this pace, six more weeks, and we're at your doorstep, Bill. How do you feel like about that? Said, like I said, I will be surprised if you guys get further than Fountain with that northern group. We will. Do you want to put money on it? The, the crazy the last time that I said something bad oh. about Goons, Bill DM'd me complaining that I was uh, shit talking Goons. Well, the so. the crazy thing is though is that you got to the narrative. We don't actually have to hold all of these iHubs for our attack to remain intact. We only need to hold the ones that are critical. So we can play Red Rover. Like, we can play Red Rover over this constellation all fucking day if you want to, but we're probably not going to because oh. from what the soda said, there's only going to be three constellations that are actually going to be defended, which... This week. This week, which I get, and that's fine. But unless those three constellations are the constellations that separate us from Delve, it, this the region's in trouble. And like everybody's saying, nobody cares about Fountain. Fountain's going to be loot, lost, whatever. It is what it is. But what I really want to know is that when goons actually have to fight, and they have to pick a front and fight on it, are you going to be able to fight on both fronts? Well, all and need to do is if the answer is yes, do you you're really believe that? Like well, the thing is, they're already the picking northern push they is your period basis. Well, they're picking hey, Bill, period basis wanna, because it's their Bill. space. Bill, do you want to make a bet? Who is this? It's our. Like, I don't know shit about any of her planning or anything like that. I just fucking shoot chips. So why don't we just fight the bet? war, guys? Why don't we why don't we stop the prognosticating and just actually fight it out? It's and then we'll find out who's going to do it. That's no, what I'm like this. Show. We do. <laughs> did did, did Goons not just destroy, like, every anchoring Tuesday. citadel in no, Quirius and period bases? Did, did you actually destroy the fleets? Because you fucking lost. Like, I yeah, wasn't out. I, I, had, I, I was here hanging with you guys. You guys definitely killed one or two and then everyone no, else they, they killed like six of the random ones but the two oh, okay. important ones got online yeah reason we're talking about today, really? notification yeah 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 uh, okay yeah I was, I was i was like wait what the fuck are we talking about period basis yeah then, like oh, yeah. the one in like one dq it's like i wonder if that like the only chance that was going to get online was if you guys didn't fucking notice it like the <laughs> same with the vast looking, majority of them i'm looking forward to the other five corpse anchoring citadels and seeing how the reaction goes to that i think that's going to be the fun part <laughs> Yeah, they only got one corp. They're like, Rah! I wonder. I wonder if this Titan I'm attack. I'm just kidding. Oh, yeah. I mean, you think jump they'll notice the bridge? Though? Probably not. I think they'll notice if I join NC Dot. Uh, now that you mention, now that you say it, uh, now that we mention it, whatever happened to those Titans that joined the fucking horde just to get out? They died. Yep. You asked what happened with them. I answered the question. Yeah, I remember I was hunting them. <laughs> I was, what happened to the Init Titans that went into Delve today? There was like 20 Titans throughout the day that went into Delve. I thought they were supposed to wait and wait that too. Their corp is uh, switching goons. Oh. <laughs> just doesn't know yet. They're just accepting the reality at this point. Who? We watched what? IM move supers to... Uh, what the fuck's the regional to uh, Delve? Y2. 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 Yeah, Randa, when is uh, DEFCON joining Dread Bomb? We need more EUTZ, USTZ corps. Um, I'll talk to Daddy Pando and I'll let you know. All if right, you do, cool. get, if you do get more Titans, so they let me know. Why? So you can kill them. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, I, I will. I'll use them in honor, and they'll die in a fire. I don't fucking care. It's a game. I'm gonna have fun doing it. He no, says that because they're not his Titans, and he doesn't that's have true. SRPM. Well, actually, I do have to SRP them, but you know, I'm working on. Do you that actually thing. have to SRP them? I made a promise. I'm gonna hold to it. You kind of I made a up. bad call. I made a so, bad call. Really it wasn't. It wasn't that we got. It wasn't that oh, we lost. We the fight. We, we, do, lost we have a giant fight. Titan cache, but it's yeah. fucking Seto. He's got like you yeah. know. We don't have this. I actually. Like, I'm working on it. 
So like, somebody. So I made a promise after making that call God to damn. do that. I said before before we even win. I said if we lose them dumb, I'll pay for them. <laughs> if we lose them in the fight, I'm, it's up to you. <laughs> and we lost them dumb, so I said I'd pay for them. Nice. I have three more times. Like, so first. somebody in but, the chat does does say something fun. It says in it corpse are gonna get poached to goons and Pando will bail to make his own thing. That's the death of in it summed up. If it were gonna happen, Pando can't. Pando can't do anything now. Sorry, go ahead. Go ahead. He would just straight up like he would never join goons. I'd be, I'd be no, good for no him. nobody said Panda was going to join yeah. Goons. Panda's going to go do his own thing. Yeah, but, uh, Panda uh, can't do his Panda thing is getting like 150 kikis and going out and like wrecking shit, right? So no, that's not that's not even true though. So like I'm in his fucking court. Like we we do courtrooms constantly. Like he loves to do like 15 to 20 man shit. Like and we map wormholes just to bring like 10 or 15 dudes. He's a theory crafter. He likes to try mm -hmm. different shit. I hope he what's texts the, you back. What's the, the difference thing? between IA and what's the difference between initiative mercenaries and fucking initiative? I never got that. Uh, just initiative mercenaries is like the precursor to initiative. So people go and they join initiative mercenaries. We see how active they are and stuff, and if they're a good fit, and then they get to join in it. The initiative associates are the ones with the high recruiting standards, and initiative proper is the ones that anyone can get into. So initiative associates are the renters. Yeah, well, the ones with the higher recruiting standards. That was his joke. Mm -hmm. My point is, though, the only reason I know who Pando is is because of Pandas. Of the 150 man fleets that he would take Panda. out and, and go fuck up some shit. Yeah, all 150 Pandas. Um, so, I mean, I don't know, dude. Like, he can go out and do his own thing. That'd be cool. But then, like, I don't he know. He wouldn't he's start his He's gonna start streaming like fifteen man fucking fleets like through theory crafting <laughs> or like okay. Well, you you say that like that he's not going to start his own alliance, but do you really think when he starts getting told he can't run fleets because you know alliance objectives or strategic ops take no, a priority he's that he's gonna alliance. handle that for a month? Yeah, fair enough. I think he'll join Dragon Happy because he was talking about that a while ago. <laughs> that would spice things up. That would... Guys are hilarious. Because he doesn't want to be. Brisk, if either. Pando did his own thing, would you follow? And Pando's leaving initiative for good. Well, if if initiative has... falls apart, I'm going to Karma Fleet. This is already known. Yeah, but gotta stay up really? So you're going to lose the war twice? <laughs> <laughs> That'd be amazing. I'm already in. I'm already in. Karma Twitch Fleet. talking I'm, about I'm Pando a... joining fraternity, and he can leave Pando's pandas. Oh dear yeah, God! Geez, no. Do it. I can do it. He just has to wake up a little bit it's earlier. Wait, yeah, Martians, so they can they can do the um the cold iron skins with the Amara purity skins. He has to wake up like way earlier though, but it's all good. Or wait, no, that's not that doesn't make any he's sense. Barely he's barely even in EU. Some like noon maybe EU something like that. I don't know, dude. If, if we can like look past the the kind of narrative of both sides for this war, I if, I think it's quite interesting to think what's going to happen. Say. Fountain falls and it moves back to Delve. I mean, I can't predict the future, but the numbers kind of speak for themselves about how that would go. What does the game look like if the Blue Donut Coalition, as they're called, win the war? What, what do you guys think happens next? Hopefully Can I answer that first? And the remnants of those. Nope, just, nope, because I was talking first. Hopefully, goons break up into a bunch of smaller groups that go populate elsewhere in the game and create better content. Damn, but that's exactly what I was going to say. Green, if, oh, uh, Tess does the same thing. Historically, though, haven't, like, when a big no block invades a big no block and one of them loses, they kind of just all join the winner. Isn't that kind of been the historical pattern of what happens? Which I think would be a big shame, right? Like, well, no, there's a lot of groups of left goons. A lot of groups of left goons have gone and done their own thing, like Trigger Happy and Freight Train Diplomacy, and they both have a lot of fun. I know that, like, essentially small groups like that live at the luxury of the... At the they're allowed to live essentially by the bigger groups, but like the players in them have a lot of fun, like a hell of a lot of fun. Yeah. So those groups are. So like, what's the name yeah. of this war again? What's the name World of this war? World War B two. Vietnam. Right. Vietnam. That's what you guys are calling it. World War B two. So what happened at the end of the first World War B? The goons like break up into little pieces and then fall apart and and go well, into small Those were very different situations, content. though. Like in, when when I don't when think they are. They, well, there's two very key important things. 
Citadels have just been, I wasn't around then, but from what I understand, Citadels have just been introduced to the game and you can instantly tell her when you sign into a Citadel. Nowadays, you can't instantly tell her, which means chasing people out of their own region is actually viable and can be done quite aggressively. So moving Supers and Titans out of a region if you're being harassed is not an easy or safe thing to do. So I, where would goons go out of Delve or who, whoever's living in Delve, like the coalition that, that lives there? Uh, and as soon as, you know, I mean, the same with a lot of no groups, as soon as safe space isn't a guarantee, like for an extended amount of time, people do disappear. Like people do move to greener pastures, what they perceive to be greener pastures. Well, I, I fully, I fully expect that every group that gets Hellward is going to shed their crabs. It's inevitable. You know, and I'm sure that goons will slim down as the crabs go away. But the idea that that in it our goons are going to die because we're fighting a war and we're not, you know, we're not guaranteed success, just like you guys aren't guaranteed a victory. I mean, come on, let, let, let's uh, fight it out. But I, 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 these, these groups have lasted for 15, 10, 15 years now. I don't think they're going to shed their identity just because they lost a war. Because we've all lost die. wars before. And it'll be and fine. It's gonna it'll, 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 I'm, it, I'm interested to see how many of these crabs actually leave goons, though, because, like, I mean, typically, whenever an entity is being invaded, they will lose, like, that 25 to 40 percent fucking drop off on the, uh, the fucking Eve Dotland, you know, graph everybody knows. But, um, but the, the crabs and goons have been perpetually farmed for the last two or three years to the point they're almost like fucking hardened to be in having offenses well, again they're hardened to blops offensives right but like in the past where for example goons deployed to x-tac 7 and there was like a prohibition on oracle crabbing like they left i remember corpse left to join test and then after the war was over and goons came home they just rejoined goons so there is a like quite a big group within goons that really only care about you know the grabbing and that's the same with a lot of groups right like every group has that but i mean like, they have core of in, like the last year though well, hasn't really been a thing it so. has been for moons and like, the moons are the main income right like hell i broke mine on moons like every other day so like i know it's possible and it's doable and if i'm doing it i'm assuming that there's a lot of other people doing it i know that mining and ice or ice belts are probably okay but mining and like a colossal or an enormous isn't really viable anymore but mm-hmm. Oh my god, Redline, will you please notice this Ope the John guy? He's been fucking so thirsty for your attention for the last Ooh. like three days. He's been he's in every fucking chat. He's been he's like just dying for your recognition. Why? Ope the John. I don't know. He's just thirsty as fuck, dude. Get I'm just I'm, can I ask you a question? I'm too busy look I'm too busy looking at all these uh corporations that have actually left goons recently. I saw pa- patriotic tendencies left goons. They had the, the best. They had the best corp B out of all the all the corps and goons. Patriot, Patriotic, Patriot tendencies had the best B. Soto, you're free to ask me a question unless it's a legal question, and then that would be three hundred dollars. No. Oh, okay. Um, is it gay to love a man? Okay. Uh, that's not my question. Uh, Vast does not speak on my behalf, but uh, my question is: Do you regret kicking extra squishy for a minute? I saw one of his. I, his video came back yes, up in my suggestion. Regret kicking extra squishy for a minute. <laughs> yeah. Joe, I, I, was actually, I love I, squishy. Yeah. Squishy's my boy. I, I felt bad when he left. Then why'd you I, kick him? Well, I, I was on. Kick anybody. Why did you I, kick extra squishy? How dare you? I was on the fleet where dick. he was saying the things that got him kicked on the the MPSI fleet, and he was saying the things that got him kicked, and I was there, and I felt very bad for him. And if I'd known him as I've come to know him, I would never have said anything. But I think, in hindsight, I probably did some something for the best for him because he's had a lot more fun since he left than he did in it. But yeah, yeah his streams really he, he got, tough. Yeah, because he was like, uh, he got in trouble for target painting a plus five Rorqual when he was on an MPSI fleet, and he did zero damage to it, and that was why he got kicked, which is a bit extreme, but. Yeah, he was saying a Not, few anti-Imperium things, which got him in trouble. That's only one side of the story, to be fair. It's the can right we can we talk story. about the the fastest growing corp in goons that left yesterday, or was uh, kicked? Karma Fleet hasn't <laughs> left. <laughs> no, it was the Cincy. It was the Cincy style Chili Corp. 
It was we're we're handing out good. fucking director to anybody who joined too. It's a great <sighs> corporation. For the record, I love Squishy. So. I go to anchor my first port as well. <laughs> yeah. So in case anybody doesn't know the story of Cincy style Chili Corp, uh, there was a dude who was leaving Goons, and he had a personal all corp, and he's like, fuck Goons, I hate these people. And you know what he said? He's like, hey guys, you want a corp and Goons? And we're like, yeah, we can do with a corp and Goons. We'll make this corp great. And we started giving everybody director, and we took over the corp within an hour. We started, you know, buying up 1DQ of all the asters and haulers we could find. And within no time, the corp was kicked. <laughs> but uh, safe to say it was a fun little adventure with the Cincy style chili corp last night. <laughs> I was saying, I've oh, never Jack. seen applications come to a corp so fast. Well, other corps I'm not a Western Cincinnati game. chili fan. I, I, aggressive. Too, aggressive experience to catch it. Fucking tits. I have like six cans of it in my cupboard right now. I, I'm more of a Texas style. I like, no, it, I like it was just it was just hilarious stuff. being in that core for like the hour we had it to just like watch the apps like flowing in. Here you go, director, director, director. What, what <laughs> other corps have left goons then apart from? Because I'm surprised patriotic tendencies did because they were quite like a hardcore goony boys. Like, yeah, they like used to be Eric. Like, Eric does a show good. before the meta show every Saturday. Not and anymore. It's like not I, not anymore apparently, but like that he was 100 percent goons are great goons are the best can he the man more go on vacation if, if goons die weeks. from this war or if they get kicked out does the imperium and uh news network and the meta show still exist who gets all that money dog? our media our multi-dollar media empire will never die Wait, hey, just might quick, have to get a job real Chris, quick how much thing, of that money do you get real quick thing there is a raffle going on i promised on twitter that i would do a giveaway for the new mug that we did for Trash Talk Tuesday. So type exclamation point raffle and you can enter to win the mug. And you don't even have to give me your address this time. All right, continue. Sorry. That's crazy. I, I don't I don't need money. I'm good. Here's a good question. Say, uh, I, never mind, about, I, won't ask that. I spent about 10 minutes in goon comms one time because someone invited me and I couldn't fucking stand it. And I had did, did you were you in Theta? Was that where they push you? I don't even know where it was, but it was bad, and I don't want to go back there. Because if you were in Theta, I can understand that. Because yeah, don't Theta, there. Theta is a fucking cesspit of I'm sadness sorry. and fucking terrible. But I mean, every other is pretty fucking. I mean, we have pretty good comms out of the ones I've heard compared to. There's the mug, by the way, and all the spam. Sorry. So brisk. Ooh. And it's eventually gonna I, happen. What? Seto, you're really quiet. Sager, yeah. Sager, give me a second. Try now. I thought you said talk me. into your mic. Like, Who else is talking? Nope. Use nope. your words. Say it. Your mic is too quiet. Talk like on your face. Talk on your big boy. Of course, all are all the way plugged in. Seto, if you want to text, like DM me what you want to say, I can read it out in like old English. <laughs> No, just try talking now. I turned you up to 200%. Let's see if Hello. we can hear you. My name is Seto, Shut and I have... It's not Seto. Seto is saying... I was about to say, stop saying it's my not, fucking it's name. Not I'm not fucking saying Seto. anything. Will you guys shut the fuck up for two seconds so I can see if this guy can be heard or not? The risk. Well, we rolled Delve, and you know what's going to happen. Um, Are you guys going to sit there with Asher and feed him some spicy chicken? I would never harm... That was totally harm. worth all of that... Stress of turning you up. That was a hot fucking take right there, Doug. <laughs> why why like would I want to harm him by making him eat spicy foods? He can't handle it. You know who also doesn't like spicy foods? Spicy foods are fun going down. People just... that get I thought it can't be Pando because he likes currywurst. Pando. Everyone should explore. Spicy, People should start exploring their spicy size. I don't know, dude. I, I really like spicy food. I did not for a long time. I started eating some curries and some other shit and some like I don't know Chinese uh, hot wings and things like this. And uh, honestly, dude, what's a Chinese hot? You need to. You need to. It's oh, like good. okay, so it's like a set on province like Bonchon, uh, kind right? of land in. Oh yes. Yes, but then like on hot wings, uh, on wings, like it's it's amazing. It's so good. So it's it's like spicy, but also a little sweet. So it takes away the uh, the spiciness, but also like hot mm -hmm. as fuck though. 
So, I mean, I don't know. Th these are things that people need to begin to explore in Western. Okay, but my mouth loves like, uh... spicy food. My anus does not. Okay, yeah, is this like, always... come on. No. Girls don't. You'll poop. form calluses. It'll be fine. It really hurts. You'll, you'll form calluses around the anus. It'll be great. Like after okay. that. All right. No. All right. Let's, 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 let's no. move on. This, this is what the fuck? This is trash talk. What the fuck are fucking we PBS even touch talking kitchen. about? Come on. Jesus Christ, Loki. <laughs> what the fuck are you on? God. All right. So I'm hanging out with bowling marks. Wait. Yeah, we're talking about bowling. Gal is about... holding strong. Period basis is just holding for now. Aquarius is taking some light hits, but doing okay. Fountain is oh, floating. Yeah, and shit. What did Bill say? Sorry. Nothing. Uh, nothing some, important. Um, okay. No, I like. I actually didn't hear him. He was trying to throw some shade there, but I didn't. I would never throw shade at you, Billy. You're my bro. I thought okay. we were best. Well, if you're if you're gonna try and like throw yeah. random insults, you gotta be like legible enough so that I can hear them to try and. Well, legible okay. enough legible to hear them. Writing. You have to be legible enough to. Hear. You gotta hear the. You gotta see the. Is it that writing? Can Why I see you? the words? Billy and I are so close. We hang out every Why day for like an hour. Your fist at on noon your desk. On Zoom. Legible hey, Bill, smash. <laughs> <laughs> He's vexed. He's a vexed man. Yeah, me and me and Brisk are, are 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 suffering together. Let's say, but uh... it has been a suffer this week. I'll tell you. <laughs> Have you guys uh, calculated how much moon like income you've lost over the past oh, yeah. month? God bless Stan. What's Freight. the number? What's the number? I can tell you the number. But what's the number? Tell me. Four. Three hundred. No, 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 no. It's aggressive. Sixty-nine. Seven. Seven point two. Four twenty. Sixty-nine point one. Three. Yeah. Forty-two. Over four hundred billion. Over four billion isk a month. Ooh. You guys have lost in isk. Who? Goons. We just don't know where it's at. No, in it, in it alone. It's all that's in like, it. That's like that's like twenty dollars. Oh yeah, dude. Wait, twenty dollars. I mean, twenty dollars is twenty dollars. Are you saying that you RMT brisk? Yeah, clearly. If it's twenty dollars, the exchange rate, dude. Brisk is reverse RMT. RMT. Exactly. <laughs> Guys, I mean, that's why I got banned, right? $20. Buy yourself a bottle of your favorite whiskey. Uh, $20 you know, for whiskey. I can't Speaking find up. my fucking favorite whiskey, which is a giant pain in the ass. Why are you rolling your scroll? Sure, it's not Evan Williams' bottle and bond? Stop. No, yeah, no. My, stop favorite, stop. The only, the, my favorite whiskey is Glenn's, to and it's another. impossible to find on the East Coast. Dunk had to bring me a bottle in Vegas because they have it in California, but I can't get it out here. It drives me crazy. Brisk, I just started on the uh, Japanese whiskeys a little bit, and honestly, oh boy, here we go. Very interesting. No, very interesting though. It's it's really it's a little bit like I don't know. It's, Are they it's... the ones that try to be scotchy, like like the smoky kind of flavor? What, what I haven't had drinking any currently is a little scotchy at first, but then turns into like do you know like the acidic. Um, sake. All right. So pretty I'm gonna go line. ahead, and we're gonna stop this because this is an what, Eve online talk show. We can't talk about booze. Bonding this about something. This is it oh, fucking this Alcoholics Friday Anonymous. Night. So wait till Friday Ow. night. You can talk about your booze then. I Loki, love you. Loki, come to open comp so we can talk about booze. I right, love you, know. and I oh, respect you for talking about booze. But this is this is an Eve online show, and as such. We have an ending time, which is in nine Jesus minutes. Jesus Christ, thank we you. Do? Holy fuck. <laughs> we do. I hate this fucking show. So, you love Why this. are you Whoa! so here, Vass? Get out. Whoa! If you hate the show, Vass, get out now. Yeah, get out of our fucking show. We hate you too. In game. Yep. All right, Vass, so, stop being such a meanie things, head. Couple things. The last thing that we do at the show, and of course the show will continue after the show is over. Because that's just what we do. It's whatever. I'm just going to keep the stream live. At all. It's not a huge deal. But because we do we do upload the podcast on Anchor FM every week, I want to make sure that we have a two hour like cut time, and I want to Is give everybody a chance. I want to give everybody a chance to give their final thoughts on the show. So while we do this, we've still got the the raffle going on exclamation point raffle in the chat. Um, also, we forgot to mention Origin is dying; they're dead. Um, wow, Valissimo gone. Um, we saw it coming, I guess. Anyways, we're going to go through final thoughts. That's where we go through the list. Everybody gets a chance to say what's on their mind. And they only... You guys got to take only a little bit of time for this. So we're going to start off with um, persistence. Yeah, so uh, shout out to uh, Jax and Husky and PanFam. Really, uh, really going out there bashing the Athenors of Standing Fleet. Really proud. I guess you could say that uh, Standing Fleet's taking the initiative. 
Okay. And uh, Thank Richard? You. Richard Richmond? Do you have any final thoughts yeah, for us? That? Yeah, I'm a little worried for Bastion. I don't think they're going to make it. This this might be their last. Okay. I'm in PvP. And, Rich, uh, which alliance do you think you're going to kill first? Uh, I don't know. I, I thought it was uh, Vindictive, but it turns out it's probably going to be uh, Bastion at this rate. You think Bastion? Okay. They're, they're getting fucking tilted. Rich, bro, that's not a Bastion. I didn't think you're tackling the Senate Mercs, dude. Called it right no, I know. Fair alliance, dude. I know, I know. I, I kill anything that moves in this battlefield. <laughs> All right, and uh, Dalek, I know you just got here. You came in at the tail end, but we'll still give you time to speak your piece. I think we should just uh, have a full ball bra brawl in the middle of nowhere and just call it a day. Kill everything. And I'll just quit EVE Online. Just fuck yeah. Two hundred thousand people anyways. gone. Millisec <laughs> resets and everything goes back to square one. That sounds fun. Eve is healing. Eve oh, is healing. Going, All right, we've also oh, got, got, got Elite Anon who wasn't really very very talkative except for when he was scrolling his mouse wheel. Can you give us some of that mouse wheel scrolling as a final thought, or do you have a Bro, final thought for us? I guess. I think you understand. I was scrolling through all the unit Athenor losses while I was doing that, dude. Constantly. Constantly. I told you. It's such I a said long, that's what I was doing. Oh my God. Massive. Oh, it's such a huge list. I'm just counting, looking at the list, dude, looking at all the moons, looking at my spreadsheets. No, is... yeah, yeah, totally. Yeah, definitely not, you know, 400 bill worth of ISK a month. That is no, all imagine that. Fleet. That is all standing for you right there. But, uh, yeah, right. just, you know, count every single one of them. I'm on every single one of them. Uh, Corpus best of the game. See you guys in six days when uh, my Astro House anchor is on your Keepstar grid. God bless. All right, Brisk, how about you? Uh, I would just like to say thank you to all the folks that have been making memes with me and my face in them because that shit's amazing and I love it. And I hope you keep doing it because every day that I'm on the top of Reddit is a day that, with sunshine. Now I have a question for you. It's kind of like a follow up. I asked you in chat the other day, or maybe it was I don't know, but I want to make sure that you say it out loud. If I buy you a Trash Talk Tuesday mug, will you use it on the Meta Show? <laughs> how could I? How could I do that when the fans want to see the anti pine cones mug? Because the fans need to see the Trash Talk Tuesday mug because it's so sick. Have you seen it? I have. It's a very it's nice mug. Dope. It actually, Brisk. it actually is nice enough Brisk of a mug. That, for him. It's also, it's a nice enough of a mug that my wife said, "Why doesn't open comms have nice mugs like that?" I can hook you up. Ooh. By the way, just a thought. Have your people get DM drunk and my drop people. Them. All right, Dom. What are your final thoughts for the night? Here's my final thought. <laughs> a vape. That's not a vape, dude. But it wouldn't be a show. Thought. It wouldn't be a show without Dom High as a motherfucker just talking it's randomly. Fun. All right, uh, Helios. One eye hope. That's all I've got to say. <laughs> One eye. <laughs> all right, Loki. How about you? All right, shout out to Wrecking Crew. We're definitely, uh, we're definitely the good guys. For any Pravi leadership listening, contact Vorn or Loki to sell your structures. GA nine P is a particular interest. Do not wait seven days. Sell now. Also, Japanese whiskey is number one. And Redline, where the fuck is my mug? I won. Poor ass. Miranda, you're next. Um, I just want to say thanks for letting me talk on the show. Um, you know, no matter what happens in the war, I'm just happy to be playing EVE Online and making new friends. Great. And Rain? Long list, so I'm going to try and run through it super fast. Shout out to all the nerds who are streaming Saturday for the uh, the CCP thing. The 2v2s Woo are actually fun. I know Miranda was there. I was there. Um, initially, shout out to the 5v5s. They had their finals. Um, with that, EVENT is also launching the Alliance Open. Um, more news about that, August 1st. Shout out to everyone who's been coming into, you know, sort of these Intel streams that we've been having, uh, kind of giving out information so we can stream big fights. And then I guess shout out to everyone in this room because you guys are all showing up to those fights and creating content and having a shit ton of fun. And it's absolutely amazing. I love Eve. 
Alrighty, oh, yeah. and uh, Sager? Shout out to Habit for being the best corp in all of PL. Um, uh, uh, red line. Three times a week. Fuck off, dude. Jesus. <laughs> oh, I'm glad somebody said <laughs> Three that. Thank you very much. Week. Got Three fleets a week. All right. Um, Sky one. Gunner, I didn't even see you come in, but here you are. God bless Origin. <laughs> R.I.P. Right. All right. Um, Tal Vertiso. Uh, uh, shout out to Wrecking Crew for sucking big PP. Uh, low sec is better than null sec. Uh, I'm gay and subscribe to my OnlyFans at onlyfans.com <laughs> forward slash Tau AD Eve nudes. I don't think we're allowed to advertise that. It, it's okay, it's not real. You gotta delete oh, the okay. vote now, that's it. It's, no it's okay, I'm not deleting the <laughs> vote, it's fine. Alright, uh, Vili, or do you want to go last again? No, it's fine. So what I'll say uh, tonight is to anybody out there listening from the Imperium side, if you're a corp leader, corp director, corp member, um, if you want to help convince your corp leadership to evac early, um, just tell them to throw me a convo. We'll get you standings to get your stuff out. Uh, You don't have to be the guy that Mitani is calling out in his uh, all, all broadcast pings for evacing his stuff. Uh, you don't have to get Commissar just because you want to leave and get out of the sinking boat before it's too late. Uh, we will absolutely allow you to give you a chance to kind of get your stuff safe. Stuff safe, I should say, sorry. Um, you know, uh, that window won't be open forever. So absolutely take the opportunity while you can to uh, evac. Uh, if you don't, I'm really sorry for what's going to come next. So Talk to Billy to get your stuff boot. Okay. Yeah. And uh, Webwish, you're still here. You're yes. the only probably or former probably at the second round. Of course, because I'm cool. But um, thank you for having me on, guys. It was a lot of fun, and uh, just looking forward to shooting some goons. Hell yeah, brother! All right. Oh Seto. shit, I forgot. Um, we're we're buying structures in Fountain Period Basis Delve and Quarius as well. By the way, sorry. Oh shit. All right, Seto, what's uh? What are you gracing us with for your final thought? Uh, I want to thank Vert for bringing his PP here. Uh, I also want to say big F for Pravi. Sad to see you go. Happy that their leadership's gone, though. Um, want to rent Providence if anyone wants it. There it is. All right. Fuck and off. For my final thought, I. I... The raffle ended, but I'll go. I went ahead and reopened it, so you can still type exclamation point raffle while uh, while we're waiting for this to finalize. Um, I want to thank everybody for watching the freaking stream. I always have a lot of fun doing this every week. Uh, we do stream every week on uh, Tuesdays. That's why the show is called Trash Talk Tuesday. You'll also notice that we've been doing some war coverage as well. Um, so make sure to drop a follow on the stream if you want to. And, um, remember every time anybody subscribes to the stream, we are able to do the little giveaways and stuff like that. So people get free Trash Talk Tuesday merch. Um, and then before I finalize the whole thing, I'm going to drop a link in the chat because this is something of a, like a pet project I've been working on. It's basically kind of like this show but in an EVE Online newspaper form. Um, it's the the New Eden post. You might have seen it on Twitter or something like that. Um, but my whole goal with this is to get other people from EVE to write cool stories of what they experience and put them onto a, a website so that other people can read them. Uh, you can feel free to check that out, submit your own stories, and uh, we'll publish them. Uh, anyways, I'm going to go ahead and close the entries on this raffle. And I'm going to pick a winner in three, two, one. Opeth John. Rigged. Rigged. Oh. <laughs> That's awesome. Just like Hypernet. That's my alt, so uh, I'll send you my address. All right. Opeth John, you've got my. We share Discords somewhere, so you've got my. Um, you can DM me. If you DM me, I will give you a code to get um, a piece of this 
little mug for freezies. Well, you get the whole. So the for link free, in but... the announcement, so on. Yeah. The link for the mug. Yeah, where I could buy it from, wherever the fucking shop is. All right. Well, it's uh, that one. I just put it in the cesspool so you can see it. Um. So yeah, Opeth can can DM me, and then we'll hook you up. And then anybody can go and, you know, do any of that shit that they want to. It's all fun. So, yeah, that's our show. Um, guys, we hit over a thousand followers tonight. We are now second best EVE Online talk show broadcasting Ooh, on Tuesdays. You're welcome. Wow. Yeah. Just saying. All right, everybody yeah. say bye on three, one, right. two. God damn it. Three. Bye. 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 Bye.